do it. And this ABC Sports exclusive brought to you by the financial professionals at Payne Weber. By the people of Holiday Inn Hotels who salute you. Here's to the winners. We're on your way. By MCI, let us show you how much better a long-distance company can be. And by Honda, who invites you to experience the Accord LX four-door sedan at your local Honda dealer. Well, if you thought the decibel level was high in the opener of this doubleheader today, just wait, because here comes number two, Kentucky, and number five, Indiana. The Hoosiers, of course, the defending national champions, and Bobby Knight's just walked in, and I think they punctured the roof, Dick Vitale. Let's talk about this Indiana team now. The defending champions, they bring back a guy named Dean Garrett. Well, Dean Garrett gives him a great shot blocker on the inside. He's a tremendous player on the interior. He can block shots, and he can actually score now, something he had a little trouble last year. And then they got an outstanding perimeter player. Smart has become a solid player, but the key player for Indiana could be their designated defensive specialist, Steve Isle. Steve Isle will probably draw the task of guarding Rex Chapman, and that will be a mighty tough task. The Wildcats have just come in, as you heard the roar and the alternating boos out of the crowd. <laughs> crowd of more than 40,000. Eddie Sutton has put together a team on the one hand experience, but the real strength of this team probably rests in the babies and in that backcourt of Chapman Davender. Keith, they got probably, I grade them, the premier backcourt in America. When you talk Davender and Chapman, Chapman's got more moves than Barishnikov. He's unbelievable. But really, this game also comes down to the two coaches, two Goliaths. We're looking at Hagler versus Leonard here. This is a championship fever. Shot selection, discipline, great defense. I'll tell you something, Keith Jackson. I'm ready to go, baby. This is big time. It's only December. I know. <laughs> All right, we'll put it in the air and see what happens in just a moment. About the Honda Accord, the experts at Car and Driver have said, quote, The engine hums sweetly. The steering is deliciously accurate. Cruising is hushed. The Accord is world-class comfortable. It's enough to make us blush. See Bill Cosby in the hilarious new movie, Leonard Part 6. And be sure to enter the Holiday Inn Coca-Cola Leonard Part 6 movie sweepstakes. Just call 1-800-HOLIDAY today. Make a guaranteed reservation. Or come to Holiday Inn for details. You could win a Porsche 928 S4. Or hundreds of great prizes. So enter the Holiday Inn Coca-Cola Leonard Part 6 movie sweepstakes today. And here's to the winners. We're on your way. Just a reminder, this year choose your credit cards as carefully as you choose your gifts. Because when you buy your presents with the Discover card, you get something back. A yearly cash back bonus on every purchase. What other card lets you give and receive? For people who expect value. Use it at Kmart, Kenny Shoes, and B. Dalton Bookseller. I'm State Farm Agent Jack Frank. I'd like to tell you about one of my car insurance policyholders, Paul Messer. For 24 years, we helped Paul keep his coverages up to date. Then one day, he had an accident. Then he really found out about the fast, fair claim service we promised him. Great claim service is one of the reasons Paul came to State Farm 24 years ago, and it's a big reason he's going to stay. Hi, Paul. Like a good neighbor, State Farm For the introduction of the starting lineups, let's go to Chuck Crabb. Once again, we say good afternoon to you. Welcome to the Hoosier Dome in Indianapolis and the inaugural of Bank One Big Four Classic. Now for the starting lineups in our second game this afternoon. First for the Hoosiers of Indiana. And one forward today, a 6'9 senior from Salina, Kansas. Number 11, Todd Jadlow. The other forward, a 6'6 junior from Cincinnati, Ohio, number 20, Rick Calloway. In the middle, 
is a 6'10 senior from San Clemente, California, number 22, Pete Garrett. At one guard, a 6'1 senior from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, number 23, Keith Spark. And at the other guard, a 6'6 senior from Hamilton, Ohio, number 32, Steve Ayo. Head coach for the Hoosiers now in his 17th season in Bloomington, Bob Knight. And now for the Wildcats from the University of Kentucky. And one forward, a 6'7 senior from Louisville, Kentucky. Number 25, Winston Bennett. The other forward is 6'9", Dawson, Georgia, number 55, Cedric Jenkins. The center, a 6'11", from Ridley, California, number 44, Rob Mock. And one guard, a 6'4", sophomore from Owensboro, Kentucky, number 3, And so we are ready to go. Dick Vitale, what kind of keys are you ringing for this one? Well, I'll tell you, Keith, when you talk about the keys of winning here for Indiana, they got to contain the perimeter game of Chapman and Davender. Shut down Chapman with a three-point shot. Garrett's got to dominate lock inside with his quickness. And for Kentucky, they got to play at a faster pace game, a little up-tempo, a little Kentucky Derby style, really get out and run a little bit more. And they have to control Indiana's passing game, where Indiana excels at getting great shot selection. The referees for the ball game, John Fuckerty out of the SEC, along with Charlie Vaca, also SEC. Tom Rucker is the Big Ten official. They tell me that Rob Locke has really improved, Keith. He was teasing me before the game. He said, last year, you and Mr. Jackson, he called you Mr., he calls me Dick. <laughs> he said, you had our game against the Naval Academy, and you said, Dick, on a year, when Mr. Robinson slam dunked one on me, you said it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger against Pee Wee Herman, and I don't like to be called Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> well, he had a big game the other night, double figures on points and rebounds, and he will be a very important figure in this ball game if the Wildcats or to beat the defending national champion. Here we go. Locke gets the tip. But Indiana gets the ball and then immediately will give it back as they step on the line. Both these teams really mirror each other, Keith. You'll see good half-court pressure, man-to-man -man defense, playing on the passing lanes, pressuring the basketball, and you'll see good ball movement in the passing game where you screen and go away. I think one of the things that's been impressive in the offseason, too, is the way number 23 there, Keith Smart, has worn the fame that he accrued as a result of his winning shot in the championship game against Syracuse. Kentucky to the attack. Chapman out in front. It is Jenkins, a very good defender, not that much of a scoring threat. Here's the man right here. That's the bell ringer for Kentucky, Rex Chapman. Steve Isle playing Chapman like we anticipated. He's a good defender. Inside, good pass. Basket for Kentucky. So as long as they get that kind of operating room inside, then Jenkins will become a factor in scoring. He's normally not a scorer at all, so they really, that's a plus for Kentucky to get any offense from him. That's Big Dean Garrett, the muscle man in the middle for the Hoosiers. He came out of California Junior College, and he makes it a 2-2 ball game. Last year, he averaged 11 points a game. This year, they got to get 18 to 20 a night out of Garrett on the interior. They go to lock inside. Got a little weak side help. Backs up on the baseline. Renzen comes off on a whistle. And the foul. They got a walk-in violation, walk violation. Charlie Vackel with the ball. Also, you can credit the intimidation by Garrett that created that. The lob goes inside. Garrett can't get to it. Kentucky comes out with it. That's Winston Bennett coming back off leg injury. Davender tries to take it home. Won't go, and here comes Indiana's Callaway on the move. Got it. 
Ricky Callaway's got a lot of talent, but he hasn't been making good court decisions. He hasn't played the game the way Bobby Knight wants him to play. I would not be surprised, unless he gets off to the great start, that Joel Hillman rotates to the backcourt, and Isle goes to the front court and replaces Callaway. It's a 4-2. Indiana lead. We played a minute and a half. Davender into the corner to Bennett. Chapman puts it up. Air ball. Rebound. Keith Smart. Hoosiers running. Callaway. Ricky Callaway doesn't want to lose his PT, Keith. He doesn't want to lose that play in time. Tremendous play by Smart in transition. Excellent pass. Davender comes back for the white-shirted Kentucky Wildcat. Steve Isle is tough defensively. He really playing Chapman on a perimeter. Davender. Ball off his silk. Take a look at Eddie Sutton with his new perm. Eddie Davender has really improved in his court decisions. He's becoming a true point guard. He was always a scorer. Garrett to the baseline. Dean Garrett wants to make All-American. He made the Pan Am team last year. Did play well for Denny Crump's Pan Am team. Played brilliantly in the trials, but really was a disappointment on the Pan Am team. Rex Chapman working in the corner for Kentucky. Looks inside. Cannot find luck. Out in front, it's Jenkins. He won't handle the ball too much out there. Davender goes to Chapman. Isle is after him. Eyeballing him into the corner. Davender. Teddy Davender from out of Boys and Girls High School in New York where he went to the same school that produced the great Pearl Washington and also the Hawk, Connie Hawkins. I know you love Steve Isle. I could just see your eyes. You love that kind of player. Good play by Locke inside. Blocked the effort by Garrett. So that's a confidence builder for Rob Locke. Yeah, he really needs that kind of confidence early because Garrett, we take a look at it right now. They throw the lob inside. Now here comes Locke rotating over. There's the little move by Garrett. Garrett should have utilized the pump fake. He would have had Locke up in the air. Come in bounds with it to Callaway. Looks to Garrett inside, rotate it back outside. Here's the blue collar guy right here. He's one of those fellas you open the door and say sick him and he goes after you and he travels with the ball. Yeah, I know your eyes lit up when you were talking to the general yesterday, Robert Montgomery Knight, and he mentioned, as we look at him, he mentioned Steve Isle. He says, I know you like him, Steve Jackson. That's the third turnover for IU now. Kentucky has one. Ed Davender brings to Rex Chapman. Isles after him. Chapman breaks away. A little bit short off the front. And it'll be Indiana's ball. He's not getting good shots right now. Force that one. Chapman is forcing the shot. He's trying to make it happen, and it's not there, Keith. Isles doing a great job coming off the top of screen, getting to the over the top of the screen. They go inside to the big man, Garrett. Dean puts it off the glass. Good. He's having a good shooting today. He's three for three. We talked about one of the keys was Garrett had to dominate inside, and early in the contest, it's been the Dean Garrett show on the interior. Davender loses the handle. Callaway comes out with it. The Hoosiers try to run it again, but Kentucky hustles back. Pretty good matchup inside physically between Garrett and Locke. And it's Callaway. This is the best I've seen Callaway since his freshman year when he was the freshman player of the year in the Big Ten. Had a lot of injuries last year. Came out of Withrow High School out of Cincinnati. Chapman goes in the lock against Garrett. Doesn't take it to the basket. Gives it away in front. Go back in there. This time he'll turn to it. And Garrett stops him. It'll be Kentucky's ball and Rob Lock in discussion about how many hands one is allowed to put on the other fellow's arm. But he gets no answer in that call. We've got a timeout at 4 15 26. A message from Payne Weber, one of America's leading investment firms. Investors have a lot of questions these days. Let's get some answers from the president of Payne Weber. Should the individual investor be in the market these days? Yes, I think so. We look for normal investment uh, returns of 10 to 15 percent over next year. I think the two key things, are they willing to stay in the market for the long pull, which I would say is a year, and two, can they stand more than normal volatility? And if they can answer that, the answer is yes. Do you see opportunities ahead? Yes, I do. The real opportunities probably are in transportation stocks, uh, some financial service stocks, selected retailers, 
uh, maybe some of the autos. Uh, those would be a good group, I think, to look at. What are Payne Weber investment executives doing for their clients? We've asked our investment executives to review all of our clients' holdings to make sure that the securities in their portfolios are the ones that are right for this market environment. And I would urge all investors to do the same, no matter which firm they deal with. Thank you, and goodbye for now from Payne Weber. When I tell someone the MCI card is better than AT&T's, they look at me funny. So I tell them our card saves them up to 25%. Then they look angry, but not with me. Until you call, you'll never know how much better a long-distance company can be. I want to know where every dollar is going. And MCI tells me where every phone call is going. Every single call. Until you call, you'll never know how much better a long-distance company can be. The New York Jets are struggling to get atop the AFC East. The Miami Dolphins are battling for the same goal. Division rivals meet on ABC's Monday Night Football. To play the game these days for an Eddie Sutton, as you see here, or a Bobby Knight, you've got to play the complete game. I think number 32 in red plays a complete game, well, Steve Allen. right here he shows you his tenacious ability defensively. He rotated into a help position on Davender as he was fighting to get over the screen. you got to like Steve Isle. Some of the great defensive players today that don't get a lot of publicity. Ricky Blanton down at LSU, certainly an outstanding defender. In the backcourt, you've got to like Sherman Douglas of Syracuse, and I love Gary Grant down in Michigan, a tremendous defensive performance. In field goals, IU, six out of seven. UK, three out of six. And Indiana leads Kentucky 12-7. As the Cats play it in, comes in to Ed Devender. In turnovers, Hoosiers have three, the Wildcats have two. This is Winston Bennett. Eddie Sutton calls him a warrior. They almost turn it over. They're still... Not a decisive thing, and finally they wind up wrestling on the floor, and Kentucky will keep it. Don't believe that. This game is just a preseason basketball oh, game. Sure, you this bet. Is, this is not Pomona Pitzer, baby, like Kansas put away. Cupcake City, this is for real. Look at the hustle right here. They're going to go after it, baby, just like Bill Mallory would love from Indiana. That's why they brought extra paramedics. Woo! <laughs> yeah, they didn't bring them here for me, because I'm not going after anybody. <laughs> Well, this series is 16-14 uh, IU over the years that it's been played. Because they kids from Indiana at Kentucky, Kentucky kids at Indiana. They're, they've known each other, played against each other all through their formative years. Out of the corner, Bennett can't get it. Locke rebounds it, gets it up over Garrett, and score it. What an excellent offensive rebound by Locke. He made the great catch, great hands, and then had the ability and the awareness of where the basket was. Good play by Chapman. Uh oh boy, I'll uh -oh. catch him. And suddenly the game gets close. That's a momentum builder. That's a great momentum builder. Keep the score. 12-11 when he made that dunk. He's smart. Steve Isle inside Garrett. Isle goes to the baseline. Garrett puts it up. Blocked partially. Kentucky comes back with it. Davender. He created some momentum in transition. And I really believe that play by Chapman has given them their spark. Rex Mania down in bluegrass country. Kentucky edging ahead by a point as you see. Ed Davender has seven points in the ball game. This is Callaway, and he is fouled. We take a look at the general Bobby Knight. Certainly had some problems early this year. Was really ripped by the media after what he did against the Soviet Union, where he really was irresponsible. Deep. He certainly had really no right whatsoever to leave the arena with his team and not finish the game. That foul was on Chapman. You got a traveling call against Rick Calloway. And the Hoosiers turn it over. See, Bobby's very stubborn when it comes to calling the timeout. Most guys would have got the T.O. and a timeout to settle his club down. His philosophy is we practice on a regular basis. If they don't know what to do, my timeout's not going to help 13-12, Kentucky has the lead. Inside, it's Winston Bennett. Ball stripped away from him by Chetlow. And here comes Isle up for the Hoosiers. They need a big basket right here to stop a little of the momentum of Kentucky. Not a good pass by Isle. Off the hands of Dean Garrett. 
We're going to see Joel Hillman in the game shortly. Also, from Kentucky's standpoint, we're going to see the two thoroughbred freshmen, Keith. You're going to love them. Eric Manuel and Laron Ellis eventually will be coming on the floor, and they are bona fide thoroughbreds. As we take a look at Isle talking to Bobby Knight. Six turnover by the Hoosiers. And Hillman is in the ball game now. Joe coming off a of back injury, has had back spasms, but he is a gamer. And he's in the ball game for the first time this season. Davender goes inside, Bennett handles it, double team, turns, blocks, gets it back. Puts it up. Lock over the top. Kentucky doesn't have much scoring on the front line when they line up with Jenkins, Bennett, and also Locke. That's the kind of offense they need will come from guys like Manuel and also LaRon Ellis. We'll watch him right here now. There's the block shot. Todd Jadlow oh. got a piece of it. Jadlow's number 11. He's a guy that hangs around a lot. Comes up with some what we call garbage points in the tray. Good role player, though. He's tough inside. Picked up a lot of space. Callaway can't get it up. Inside, it goes to the big man, Garrett. And a rebound. Cedric Jenkins loses. Hillman has it. And Jenkins fouls it. A double pump got Cedric. Jenkins is an outstanding defensive player. He shut down Chuck Person two years ago, who's certainly an NBA standout. But Hillman right there gives him the little pump fake to draw him up in the air, and they gets fouled on a plug. Three fouls on Kentucky. Uh, Three players have one each. Hillman averaged 41 points a game in high school. Last year, he only took 58 shots for Indiana, and he played a lot of minutes. And he wasn't out there to shoot. He was out there to control, and he did. Yeah, well, he got, he got the ball over to Steve Alford. Last year, Alford shot 107 for 202 attempts from three-point land. They're going to miss Steve Alford's three-point shot. Hillman missing the second, rebounded out of there by Locke, and Kentucky in white comes back. Indiana and Kentucky all even at 13 apiece. What a screen by Locke on Smart to get Davender free. Lock doubled inside, turns around, now take it to the basket. Won't go down for it. He had position and missed it, and Hillman comes up for it. Callaway very active, both on the boards and offensively. Smart. Look at Callaway. Ricky Callaway. Drops it through. Oh, Ricky Callaway. Looks like, looks like he really wants to stay on the floor. Davender down the middle. Also, Callaway's underneath, Davinder on top. Indiana rotates over probably better than anyone in college basketball in giving help defensively and taking the charge. And the reason is because of that guy right there, Robert Knight. He teaches help defense like a clinic. That's Davinder's first personal foul. Hillman and Smart bring it up. 12 minutes to go, first half. Callaway goes to Garrett. See how they double him up? Back to Callaway. Manuel, the freshman, is in the ball game now. Eric Manuel from Macon, Georgia, for Kentucky. Smart goes down the middle with it. Spin it off the glass and can't get it down. And a rebound and a foul on Keith Smart as he fouls Ed Davender. Smart, certainly one of America's premier guards. An amazing story. At 5'3 in high school, going into his senior year, grew to 5'7. No one really wanted him. And here he is today, a star in college basketball. 15-13, Indiana leads it. If you thought you had to give up comfort to get a close shave, Norelco says, think again. Their revolutionary shaving system shaves skin close in a way that's incredibly comfortable. As the hair enters the chamber, the patented lift and cut system lifts each hair and holds it a split second before a blade cuts it. So it's possible to shave skin close without the blades even touching the skin. Norelco Rotitract, where close and comfortable come face to face. That's him, isn't it? You bet it is. He's good. I just love the way he parties. Do you know why Fuzz McKenzie has so much fun at parties? 
because he's always in control. And he knows how to make a party laugh. It takes good sense to have a good time. And Spud knows it's cool to live by one simple rule. Know when to say when. A reminder from Anheuser-Busch. 1987 Motor Trend Car of the Year. The world's best-selling car. America's design leader. Now, during Ford's leadership celebration, get up to a $600 cash bonus from Ford. Winning the world over. I think this graphic will give you some idea of uh, where the offensive strengths are for these two teams. I think also, Keith, they have to get some scoring inside from Ron Ellis. Rex Chapman certainly has had it very difficult getting really started here because of the defensive pressure that they're playing on him. He's got to get some points in transition. He made the one great steal with that outstanding anticipation, and it went down and slam dunked the ball. But if Kentucky's going to go on to the Final Four this year, they need a consistent, dominating year out of Chapman. Last year, he was brilliant at times, but inconsistent at others. I would think, though, with uh, another year of maturity, he won't panic. He'll wait. Oh, he's an NBA surefire first-rounder. Jerry West is sitting here, and I said, Jerry, I'm going to announce my all-Jerry West team, and Chapman is number one. He's a mini version of Jerry West. Davender handles the ball into the corner to Rex. Eric Manuel stays in the Kentucky lineup. Good pass. Ball swatted out of there. Save no. Callaway had his hands on it, but couldn't get to it in time. Rejection City by Dean Garrett. He says, thou shall not enter Bazai Lane against the Hoosiers. Boy, he's improved since the first oh, month. So much more confident. He came out last year out of junior college, part of that new recruiting philosophy of Bobby Knight, bringing in Swart and bringing in Garrett out of the junior college ranks. Chapman against Hilton. Up over Garrett. Won't go. Lock inside, and he is hammered. Take your choice. Garrett or Jadlow? Take a look at Hillman, number 44. He's going to try to deny him the ball. Now he's getting over the top. Oh, he's holding him a little bit. And there goes Chapman, laying the screen. Look at the deny. Deny. Now he gets over the top of the screen. See, most guys would have went around the backside of the screen, Keith. But he got over the top. Great defense by number 44, Joel Hillman. On the line, lock foul on Jadlow. Second team foul on Indiana. Keith Locke was a no-no last year. When I say a no-no, he was a non-factor. If anything, he was a liability. He's an example of tremendous hard work during the offseason on the weights, and today he's become a solid player. Makes two. We're all even. Tied again. 15-15. Back court pressure put on by Kentucky. Cleared ahead to Callaway. Across to Keith Smart. In the shadow of Big Dean Garrett. Too far under, couldn't find the target for all the limbs extended. And now Callaway comes back across the top of the key for two. They're not beating him to the wall. That's one of the principles of man-to-man -man defense to beat the cutter to the ball. And Callaway slashing to the lane and getting free. Ricky has 10 points in the ball game. Eric Manuel outside his first shot. No. Air ball. I think he's a little bit nervous. A little tight. Hillman checked by Chapman. Oh, they had him look inside. inside. Garrett's there. Now Locks shuts the door on him. Kentucky has great... Good hands by Davender. Foul, Hillman. I was going to say that Eddie Sutton's Kentucky team also plays great help defense, as does Indiana. But Garrett's really being active inside. Let's take a look at Garrett trying to get free here, number 22. There's 22 now. He's being played by Locke. He tries to get him on his hip. They run a little curl move. There's Garrett showing the post hand to the baseline. Locks doing a good job defending him. Locks did an excellent job defending him. Substitutions for Kentucky. Madison comes into the ball game. Richard Madison, he's a banger on the board. He was brilliant yesterday in practice, but as Eddie Sutton and I were talking, really a little technical foul here. On Indiana. We have to get word. I don't know why that technical is called. They called it an intentional foul. Intentional foul. 
They called an intentional foul. I must have, remember, in college basketball this year, the intentional foul is two shots plus possession of the ball at any time in a game, not just late. I didn't think it was all that deliberate, did you? I missed it, Keith, to be honest. It was right in front of me, and I didn't think it was all that unusual. Inside, turn around, Bennett. Oh, a good Bennett. He might be the comeback player of the year, coming back from reconstructed knee surgery. Also, Steve Kerr out of Arizona, a heady and great player as a candidate. Kentucky by two. Ball belongs to Indiana. Well, Chapman has two points. Jenkins has two points. Bennett has two. And Davender nine with lock four. That's the uh, Kentucky scoring right now. And Hillman handles the ball out in front. Looks at Smart cutting the key. Indiana re really lays some in interior screens. They really headhunt inside. That's Callaway. Rebound, Madison. That's the master blaster. He's been an enigma. He's a guy with a world of talent. Mr. Potential, Chapman. Got a bounce. All the great shooters get the bounce, Keith. The bricklayers never get the bounce. Right. Out of that, you get a strained wrist, but he gets a basket. <laughs> Keith Smart made the winning basket to win the national title a year ago. These teams have a great chance to win every time on, they're on a floor because of their defense. That's Hillman. Leave him alone, and he'll burn you. Yeah, he can shoot for basketball. He's got great rotation. I thought he looked good yesterday, sitting down, talking to the general, watching him work out. I thought he looked good for a kid that just came back from a ruptured disc problem. Lock inside. Sag back on him. He's going to take it to he the walked. basket. And he probably... He walked. Well, he's in some pretty good-sized trees in there, you know. He's got to pick, pick you away a little bit. Well, he demonstrated already that he can shoot the little hook shot with the right hand, the left hand. He picks up his pivot foot. See, there he is. He picks up his pivot foot, takes two steps or more. And into the ball game for Kentucky. 6'11", 225, freshman number 24, Leron Ellis, a man of the future for the Wildcats. He's a real diaper dandy. He's an outstanding flash phenon from out of California. That's Gatlow taking it to the glass and gets his basket. The reason Jadlow got the easy layup, Madison did a poor job playing the post inside. Didn't force him to help, allowed him to get the baseline. Kentucky by one. Madison looks to Ellis. Leron, the son of Leroy Ellis, the great NBA star of 14 seasons. How do you think he feels watching his son play? And he's the assistant coach at Southern Cal. With That's Smart round. with a steal all the way. They get the charge on Smart after the score. Davender took the punishment into the ball game now for Indiana. Number 45, Brian Sloan. Smart with two personal fouls. And getting up for Indiana to come in is Jay Edwards. And he was the big star the other night for them. As you see Smart taking it to the basket and committing the foul. He leaves his feet. He scores. And there's the makeup call. I don't like that call at all. I'd rather have the NBA rule where you cannot have a score on an offensive foul. All right, Ed Davender brings it up, and he goes against Jay Edwards, who shot lights out the other night against Notre Dame. He hit five in a row at one time, Keith. Tremendous Look at that, room. Garrett, those long arms come over the top and make no contact and make a good defensive play out of it. Callaway drives it, missed it, rebound Sloan, and coming out of there with it for Kentucky is Ellis. I love Ellis. He's got the great mobility. That'll be traveling as Steve Isle back into the ball game came to the floor. It's almost automatic these days. You go down with it, you're going to travel. And so we grind along at 7.33 with Indiana leading Kentucky by one. cordless power tool system more professionals use to work around the house or even build one. Makita, it's all the power you need. 
Hey, guess what I'm getting Mom for Christmas? Oh, another Ferrari. <sighs> Better than that. Mm -hmm. The top-rated Magnavox compact disc player. In fact, every one of my list is getting a Magnavox. How about Sarah? Portable CD. Grandpa. 52-inch TV. Nancy. Lightweight camcorder. Oh, smart, Tom. <laughs> Very yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, are they going to be surprised? <laughs> Not anymore. You just told everybody they're getting a Magnavox for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> But they don't know when. They don't know when. Are you going to dance your whole life away? What about your future? Don't you worry about getting old? He doesn't have to. He has a MetLife retirement plan. MetLife annuities earn tax-deferred interest and guarantee an income for life. What do you say to that? Away? Oh, brother... Get met. It pays. Arnold Palmer, Jan Stevenson, and more. Golf's best come together in a mixed team competition. It's the J.C. Penney Classic tomorrow on ABC Sports. One of the two significant rules changes for the year has to do with what is interpreted as intentional foul. This was called an intentional foul. I think it's a misinterpretation by John Clarkety. I don't see an intentional foul right here. The rule was put in so that if a player was trying to basically stop the clock and not play the basketball, and that sequence, and now we're going to look right here at the offensive charge by Smart. Defensive player, defensive position, Smart leans into him, makes contact. See, even though he's entitled to what they call the principle of verticality, that defensive player, when he establishes his feet on the ground in that area defensively. Kentucky with the ball, inbounding it to Rex Chapman. Chapman looks to the right, goes that way with Bennett, and that's got to be a foul by Sloan. He reached in and clubbed him. Actually, O'Brien just reached in to get a hand on the ball and wound up getting a handful of the player. You know, Keith, when you're talking here about, when we look at Bobby Knight on the sideline, he's definitely destined for the Hall of Fame. He's been nominated, and he'll be in Springfield now. He'll be selected. His record is unbelievable. This is Cedric Jenkins holding outside the circle. Davender, that's inside the three-point uh, circle. Rebound is on the baseline to Chapman. And a whistle stops him down below, and uh, it was, the ball was taken away. But the Indiana man was standing on the baseline. You know, last year, Kentucky was 18 and 11. They played without a front court. They missed Winston Bennett. I thought they overachieved to be 18 and 11. This year, with their new front court people, it's going to be a big, big year in Lexington. Bennett has the ball slapped out of there by Garrett. Gets it back, score it. Well, Eddie called him a warrior. Well, that knee looks okay right there. He took a physical pounding, and yet he was able to take the ball right back to the glass and get the conversion. Good bounce pass inside by Isle. Callaway. Now oh, to Garrett. Great play. Callaway. Great play. Slam jam, bam. Ricky Callaway. 12 points for Ricky. They do a great job playing without the basketball. So many players can play with the ball. Watch this pass down the gut of the defense. Great cut without the ball by Callaway. Defensive player gets caught staring at the ball. 25-24, Indiana. We've had six ties and nine lead changes, and we've got six and a half minutes to go in the first half. They both protect the ball. They make four, five, six passes before they look for a shot. Great. Both 2-0 on the season. This is Chapman high off the glass. Rebound, Callaway, having a sterling first half. Jay Edwards, the freshman, brings it down, and he's fouled by Devendur. Jay Edwards is part of the Marion connection. They won three consecutive state championships under Bill Green. A tremendous accomplishment. And you talk about uh, Jay Edwards. They got another guy on the bench by the name of Lyndon Jones, a point guard who has great potential. That's the second foul on Davender. Indiana to the attack. Edwards takes it into Garrett, and there's a the foul on Winston Bennett. Tried to anticipate, but was still a quarter step late. He tried to get over the top, and he couldn't get over the top. You know, when we mentioned Jay Edwards, Bobby Knight would like to see more emotion and intensity out of Edwards. There's the entry by Edwards. Now, he tries to come over the top, Bennett. He's a little bit late, as you just called, and he gets caught for the ball. You say what you want. If that kid can shoot the ball consistently like he's he did play. the other night, he can laugh all he wants. And he's going to get PT. <laughs> I even had you using play. that term yesterday, PT. <laughs> <laughs> Fouls now, Kentucky with six, Indiana five. 
Eddie Sutton with his new perm certainly loves it in Kentucky. He said, now I can go in a kid's home and their eyes light up when I walk in and I mention the magical word Kentucky. Sloan lost the handle on a high pass coming inside. A little quicker perhaps than he anticipated. Kentucky's back with it. Ed Dammer to take it off the goggles now and going without him. Inside bullet pass intended for Chapman. Chapman got caught for walking with the basketball. I didn't think he had control of the ball. Rex is really struggling. Sometimes when a player's struggling to get free as Rex is, maybe you take him out for about a minute, Keith. Let him sit down, and then you bring him back on the floor. Uh, get him to a certain point of frustration. You want to relieve him a little bit so they can regain their poise. This is Edwards. And Isle are outside. In the corner, you've got Garrett. Now he goes back where he belongs. In the middle, that's... Uh, Stolen by Winston Bennett. And he goes in against Isle. Missed the shot. And the Hoosiers come back with it. Remember Jay Edwards to shoot the ball. Number three. They're going to try to run some screens for Edwards to get him three for a shot. Number three. That's Callaway. That's an NBA move, Keith. He's silky smooth. He told me in a locker room the other night, he said, Dick Vitale, you didn't pick me on your all-swing team. You picked Sean Elliott and Roy Marble and Ricky Barry. I said, you got to play hard every night, Ricky. The way I'm playing tonight. You got seven out of nine for 14 points. Ain't bad. Chapman right now looks a little winded, looks tired. He probably wants to sit down, and I think they're going to get him out of there in a moment and bring Manuel back in as Davender goes inside to get him. He's playing with a lot of confidence. Eddie Davender's breaking down the defense. He's got good scoring ability, but this year they say he's also making good decisions in transition. Ed's got 11. Garrett turns. Locke knocks it out of there. Either he or Bennett. Locke picks it up. Clean steal for the Wildcat. 27-26. Indiana by a point at 4-10 to go in the first half. Locke to the bucket. Hey, Robert Locke's going to be a candidate for the most improved player in America. This kid was absolutely a liability in the past. He's a positive force now in the lane for Kentucky. Six points for Rob so far in the game. This is Edwards being dogged by Davender. They take it inside. Garrett turns, shoots, and can't get it. And the battle on the baseline, and a whistle, and the foul. On Callaway for coming over the back. We take a look at the ball going down inside the lock. He just blows right by. He seals the ball off with his body on the interior against Garrett. At 3.49 to go first half, both teams now at six team fouls. The first goal foul is number 20, Rick Callaway. His first, the team's sixth, time out. Start. This new Tegra in medicated shampoo with conditioners leaves my hair looking great. Isn't that nice? But is this new Tegra with conditioners tough, tough, tough? Of course it is. This Tegra fights tough dandruff and all four major causes of flaking and itching. And how do you know what tough is? <laughs> New Tegron medicated shampoo with conditioners proves tough can be beautiful. Look for this money-saving coupon in Sunday's paper. My son is very competitive. My dad has a problem about losing. He goes straight for the throat. He has no conscience. He's relentless. He's ruthless. Father and son just played the NFL's VCR quarterback, VCR board game of the pros. You play with a VCR and real NFL footage. It's realistic, exciting, competitive. Give him an inch. Or take a mile. NFL's VCR quarterback game. And NBA basketball and NHL hockey. Faithfully, Honda has been number one in customer satisfaction, number one in import owner loyalty, number one for the money. Introducing new Faithful. The new Honda Civic Hatchback, one of the lowest-priced wonders in America. You can count on it. It's the Callaway Show. In the first game today, it was the David Rivers Show, but now it's uh, color red. Well, you know, it's amazing as we watch Callaway set up Chapman by running him off that screen by Chris Smith. Now watch how he keeps his pivot foot planted and makes the good force over step. And now he has the presence to pull up as he spots Locke rotating over defensively. I'll take one thing. Now we're going to look at Callaway again, moving without the ball. He's 
playing very active basketball. Now he throws it into the post and cuts, and he catches Chapman staring at the ball. Chapman made a no-no there, Keith. He turned and looked at the ball in the post, and Callaway backdoored him for a layup. Seven out of nine from the field, five rebounds for Ricky Callaway. Coming up at halftime, we'll have uh, a look at high school basketball in the state of Indiana, you know followed by a new feature, David Robinson's Tip of the Week. Well, you mentioned David Robinson. Navy got blown out yesterday. They're really now a ship without a captain. They were like McHale's Navy yesterday against Iowa. We were David down at a submarine base <laughs> coast of Georgia. You know, it's amazing. Kentucky's winning by a point and is shooting 42%. Indiana is shooting 59%, getting great offensive efficiency out of their half-court game, and yet they're down a point. In boards, Kentucky 14, IU 11. That tends to balance some of it off. Kentucky leading 28-27, 3.45 to go in the first half. Eric Manuel is in there. And inside, they turn it over. Rex Chapman is off the floor right now, trying to get him straightened out, give him a little bit of rest, getting a little frustrated. Inside, lock against Garrett, and they'll call lock for the foul. Well, Garrett had the inside position. Great coaching move by Eddie Sutton. I had suggested that to you a moment earlier, and Eddie must have me wired up for us, Keith, but it makes me feel good when once in a while I'm right, but I think it's a great coaching move by Sutton as we took a look at him, taking Chapman out for about a minute or two. The lineup then for Indiana as Garrett puts it up. Callaway, Edwards, Isle. What electricity as we look at Rex Chapman from out of Apollo High School in Owensboro, Kentucky. This place is like a heavyweight championship fever. Yesterday it was beginning in the hotels as he converts that free throw. I'd like to see the tournament format where they play Friday and Saturday and play it like a tournament. In might in time. Bobby Knight's all for it. Davender brings it down. Kentucky has Locke in the middle. Bennett's out in front. That's Cedric Jenkins and Eric Manuel. They don't quite have the same movement with uh, Chapman off the floor. Inside, Locke turns to the basket. Short with it. And then the crashing on the board. Pick one. Kentucky is very physical, very aggressive. They really attack the glass. Bennett. That's his second person. Watch the physical contact inside. The ball goes down into the post. There he is locking up lock. Back to the basket. Now he little head fake, takes it up. Now here comes Bennett flying over the top, number 25, and his call for the definite foul, climbing the back. And that's 17 fouls on the Wildcats. So to the line goes Garrett with Indiana leading 29-28. Whenever we talk about posting up, simply means that a player is playing with his back to the basket, and he can post up. There it is. That's posting up. See Locke right now? He's posting up. Look at the physical contact right there. Oh, look at him laying the elbow on him. Look at him laying the elbow, Garrett did. This he, must have been emphasized in calling that this year. They've got enough <laughs> things to call. They'd be blowing a whistle all day. You've got to have some contact inside. You just can't help it. That's Bennett out of the corner. Winston Bennett's got to give him that little 15-foot jump shot. He was heavily recruited out of Mayo High School in Louisville. Same school that produced Darryl Griffin. Shot is up. Not good. And going up the back is Ricky Callaway to pick up a foul. And that's seven on Indiana. And the score is all even at 30-30. Galloway with two personals, Smart with two personals. For the Hoosiers, for Kentucky, Davender, Bennett, Locke have two personals. Take a look at Callaway, number 20. There's no chance to get this rebound. Not a heady play at all by Ricky. There's no way in the world he has that opportunity. He climbs the back and gets called for the foul. Hillman comes back in for the Hoosiers now, and Callaway will take a respite. Ricky played probably the best half he's played in over a year and a half. He's brilliant as a freshman as Joe Hillman's on the floor. Take a look at Joe. You know, the last player to come out of Louisville that went to Kentucky that was a great star out of high school was Tom Payne, who went there and played for Adolph Rupp. Winston Bennett. Nicely through. Wildcats to a one-point lead. I was going to say about Joe Hillman. Joe looks like he just came back from the war. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> he looks ready. He's always ready to play. A very intense competitor. He's the first California player to be recruited by Bobby Knight for his program. Kentucky, six out of six from the foul line. They lead by two. 
two forty to go in the first half. Isle and Hillman out front. In the corner, it's Edwards. That's Big Gene Garrett. And you got bodies flying and whistles tooting. One thing that Kentucky and both Indiana do so well compared to most clubs, they get excellent spacing. They're always 15 to 17 feet apart on the offensive positioning, so you can't give a lot of help defensively. See how they spread the court? They're 15, 17 feet apart. There's a little triangle now with the point, the wing, and the post player. And now you watch the... On Bennett there. Yeah, there's Bennett and Jadlow going at it. That's three fouls on Winston Bennett now. You would think that he's going to be shut down here very shortly, and I think Eddie is going to make that change right now as he gets LeRon Ellis up. Ellis ultimately will be a big-time star at Kentucky. He has all the ingredients you want in a player. He's got good touch. He can run. He's got good attitude. He's got the great size. You can't teach that 6'11 and that mobility. Ellis is in. Madison is in. Bennett is out. How good was Ellis? He was player of the year in California last year for modern day. And he got that award over Sean Higgins up at Michigan and also over Brian Williams, who's starring for Maryland in the territories. Chapman is back now for Kentucky. Indiana has pulled even again at 32. This is Chapman on that little baseline jumper. Can't get a roll. Tipped in by Locke. And Bob Knight screaming along with the Indiana bench that it should not be allowed. It was over the cylinder. It looked pretty good from here. Yeah, I thought it was off the cylinder. I didn't think Knight had a claim there. It looked like it was off the cylinder. Hillman hits it. He's looking for his shot, Keith. Last year, never even looked at the basket. Took only 58 attempts all year long. Averaged 41 points a game in high school. Just inside two minutes to go, first half. Locking, call on Rob Lock. And he that'll, be, that'll be his third. So Bennett and Lock now both have uh, three fouls. Let's take a look right here. Here's the little jump shot by Chapman. Let's see if it's interference up on a cylinder. I say it's off the cylinder. I say it's off the cylinder. Good tip by Lock. Jay Edwards will go to the free throw line for Indiana. 155 to go. First game today was won by Notre Dame rather handily. That was a great show by David Rivers. He was scintillating. 69-54. Louisville still looks like they have a problem in the backcourt. There's Chapman with the little jumper. Take another look. Here comes Locke. The ball is off the cylinder. It's close, but it's off the cylinder. Give the officials the benefit of the doubt, the guys with the striped shirts. I'm all for that. 35-34, Indiana back to a one-point lead. Edwards trying to make it two, does. He shot down, Digger in the Fighting Irish. Game was a four-point game with four minutes to go, and then he came off. He had no conscience. He was just letting him fly. Davender goes to Richard Madison, man with the big body. Davender out in front. Goes inside to Ellis. He doesn't want it there right now. He will in time, though. Boy, he look at seasoned a little more. Jenkins. And just not much room in there with that Indiana switching tough head-to-head -head Bulldog defense. This is Chapman. Won't go. Rebound aisle. Chapman really being played tough by Hillman, who's getting over the top of those screens. Inside, Ellis and Jenkins giving Garrett a hard, hard time. Both these clubs really come after you. Look at the inside defense by Kentucky. They really extend on a passing lane, closing off the lanes inside. Bench scoring, IU's got nine points off the bench. Almost 11 there, but Kentucky gets it out. Wildcats have no scoring off the bench as yet. Hillman has come off the bench to produce seven points for them. Jenkins pumps it and doesn't take it. Takes it to Madison. This is Ellis. Take it to the basket. Blocking foul is whistled. And it's on Jetlow. Lord Garrett Ellis. was up there to stop him, though, wasn't he? Personal foul. Leron Ellis got that great first step. Good head fake, a good first step, and taking the ball to the basket. That's Gadlow's second first. Indiana. Number Probably the best thing, though, that can happen to a youngster as Sloan comes back in, replace your dad low for the Hoosiers, is to get slapped around a little bit early. I mean, it's not yeah. hurt anything. These are two teams that play for a conference championship anyway. You know, Ellis, we were talking earlier. How do you think his dad feels down at Southern Cal as he misses the free throw? 
He's hired by George Raveling, and he comes out to Kentucky, and it's got to hurt when you know that this young man could be wearing your uniform down in Southern Cal, leading you to the promised land, and instead he's out here. I bet he's just as pumped up as this way as he would be the other way. Oh, I'm sure the dad's cheering for him, that's for sure. Sometimes, you know, it's a liability to have the sun around. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not always. a liability if he can play, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not if he's 6'11", yeah. So, <laughs> that's Danny Manning's dad sitting next to him up in Kansas. Chapman goes in and has a ball slapped out of there. And you got a foul whistled on Jay Edwards. As Brian Sloan went to the floor, that's Edwards' first personal foul. Both of them are now in the personal bonus area. Indiana. Number three, 36-34, Indiana by two. Eddie Sutton, third year. Ten ties in this first half, 14 lead changes. Unbelievable. You talk about two intense coaches, Sutton and Knight. Sloan, really, uh, you know, he comes from some good stock. His dad was quite a tenacious player. He was an outstanding high school player at McLeansboro, Illinois. Brian Sloan, number 45 for Indiana. His daddy, Jerry Sloan, a Hall of Famer with the Chicago Bulls. Oh, Jerry wasn't too bad. I did a lot of NBA games over the years with him rolling around and scuffing up his arms and elbows and knees. He was a fighter. Still is. <laughs> Chapman's got good rotation, an excellent free throw shooter. All even at 36. Take a look at the defense. Always someone in help, always beating people to the spot in the inside. Denying Ellis the ball. is playing Garrett. Garrett gets away from him. Jay <laughs> Edwards with the offensive rebound. Yep. Got four points. First half is over. And that rebound by Edwards gives Indiana the halftime lead by two, 38-36, and gets the officials some conversation from Eddie Sutton. ABC's College Basketball will return after this commercial and a word from our local station. Come see Bill Cosby in the hilarious new movie, Leonard Part 6. And be sure to enter the Holiday Inn Coca-Cola Leonard Part 6 movie sweepstakes. Just call 1-800-HOLIDAY today. Make a guaranteed reservation. Or come to Holiday Inn for details. You could win a Porsche 928 S4. Or hundreds of great prizes. So enter the Holiday Inn Coca-Cola Leonard Part 6 movie sweepstakes today. And here's to the winners. We're on your way. If you had all the experience of yesterday, with all the skill and innovation of today, you couldn't lose. Blue Cross and Blue Shield carry the caring card. If you're looking for racy lines, precise cornering, and a great stereo, Zenith's trim 27-inch designer TVs will put you in the driver's seat. Zenith. Quality. Never before has an antifreeze guaranteed your radiator. Use new Prestone Advanced Formula after Super Flush and should our protection fail, we'll pay for your radiator repairs. Prestone. The antifreeze that guarantees your radiator. Sunday, the mob has Spencer walking on the wild side. I thought you said they didn't know your car. Well, I was wrong. Spencer for hire. There. It's a dolly hoedown with Juice Newton, Jerry Reed, and the new queen of country, Miss Piggy. Ah! Dolly lights up your night right after Spencer for hire Sunday. Start up your breakfast day in Fernando's Oaks Country Sausage Way. Season just right, all natural, just one taste, and you can tell it's Purnell, it's Purnell. Al Purnell here. My brother and I still make old folk country sausage the way our daddy did, by using the lean cuts of the whole hog, pure natural spices, and no water. So get a bag, because it's good. This is the Marshall Word. 
This is the way your Mazda dealers give you high performance without high prices. The all-new MX-6 GT Luxury Sports Coupe. New 626LX World Class Family Sedan. All-new 929 Luxury Sedan. Three ways Mazda leads the way in high performance value. This is the Mazda way. In Louisville, see Don Corlett Mazda and Neil Huffman Mazda. In Radcliffe, see Montgomery Mazda. Call for a forecast anytime. 585-1212. Indiana leads Kentucky at the Hoosier Dome with more than 40,000 people watching 38-36. At the halftime, it's the second of two games. The first game today, Notre Dame defeated Louisville 69-54. Quick stats after the first half, IU 52% out of the field, Kentucky 42%. Indiana has uh, six offensive rebounds, 11 defensive, Kentucky eight offensive, and uh, 10 uh, defensive. Defense scoring, there's your edge. Indiana 11 to nothing over Kentucky, and three points, none by Indiana, and Kentucky two out of three. As a special feature during ABC's college basketball, we'll visit with last season's player of the year, David Robinson. On graduating from the Naval Academy, David Robinson secured his future with a multi-year, multi-million dollar contract for the San Antonio Spurs. But he does have a two-year commitment to the Navy. At more than seven feet, the Navy admittedly doesn't really have a place for this sized man. So it's agreed after two years, David goes on to what seems his real future basketball. So while he waits, works, and maybe grows some more, David Robinson offers this moment of information for the next generation. Hello, I'm Dave Robinson, and today we're going to talk about shooting. Now, whether you're a big man or a little man, we all have our own styles. And I'm not saying we all have to shoot it alike. But there are a couple things I think you should keep in mind when you do go to practice for shooting. The first thing is to square your shoulders up to the basket so you get a good, clear shot at the basket. The second is to pick a point on the rim and follow through to that point. For me, I shoot softly, so I'll shoot at the back of the rim. Now, anytime you take a shot, you're going to be in any one of three situations. The first is shooting it off the pad. The second is shooting it off the dribble. Sometimes you find yourself with your back to the basket and you need to take some sort of a turnaround jump shot. In each of these cases, the basic principles remain the same. Square your shoulders up to the basket, Pick some point on the rim and follow through to that point. And if you can do these things consistently, you'll improve your shooting. Say goodbye. My family loves this cordless phone from Radio Shack. I got it on sale for just $69.95. Saved $30. It's really convenient. With no cord in the way, and you can dial out or answer from anywhere in the house. Even redial a last number call with one touch. Okay, Merry Christmas, Mom. Oh, and uh, thanks for the tie. The ET395 cordless phone. Sale price for Christmas only at Radio Shack. What's the power that makes the world go round? Well, when things start to run down on this planet, there's simply no better way to start them up again than by reaching for a Rayovac battery. So powerful. So dependable. And Rayovac created the Smart Pack so you'll never run out. The Smart Pack from Rayovac. We give you the power. They're going to California for the weekend. It's a frequent flyer thing. 40,000 miles and they both fly free. I've got 40,000 miles. We're going to the mall. 
Some airlines make you fly nearly 40,000 miles for one free trip. On Northwest, you get two. There's a place called Moody Hollow where the Furskins live, and now they've come to Wendy's for you to give. That's right, Furskins have come to Wendy's. Dudley Furskin and his country friends, each at a special low price. At Wendy's, that is. Research in fields as diverse as superconductivity and plant pathology has helped the University of Kentucky earn a ranking as a Research One University by the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching. Only 45 public universities in the nation have been granted that distinction. And when University of Kentucky researchers aren't expanding their knowledge in their laboratories, they're sharing it with students in the classrooms. Great researchers and great teachers, one and the same at the University of Kentucky. Вас, вероятно, удивит, что на территории одного из крупнейших университетов в средней части Америки Indiana University has become a major language resource center. Unique, Indiana University does a lot of unique things in teaching, research, and public service. One of the AFC's classic rivalries. A game that could lead to a division title. A matchup with pride, emotion, and playoff hopes on the line. The New York Jets need a win to stay atop the AFC East. The Miami Dolphins are battling to stay in the division race. They meet on ABC's Monday Night Football. We're at halftime at the Hoosier Dome with Indiana leading Kentucky 38-36. Now for a special feature about a product that's indigenous to the state of Indiana. Let's join Cheryl Miller. Indiana has always been considered a big basketball state. And earlier this week, I got the opportunity to see just how serious Indiana people really are about basketball. Towns in Indiana where high school basketball reigns supreme. When the team takes the floor, the town is empty. You know, I think on Friday and Saturday nights, uh, Bobby Knight, Gene Keedy over at Purdue and Indiana, myself now at Ball State, I mean, you don't want to schedule opposite the high school night because uh, there'll be 10,000 people at Newcastle, there'll be 9,000 at Anderson, 7,000 at Marion, and these gyms are packed, and to this people, this is a religion. I mean, that ball flows through their veins. I'm in Newcastle, Indiana, standing in the world's largest and finest high school gymnasium. Coach, what makes Indiana such a hot place for basketball? Let me ask you why the sky's blue, Cheryl, in California. <laughs> uh, it's something that, that has always been, and I hope as a basketball coach always will be, because great, great things have come from my life because of basketball. But I think it's something that, that Indiana is very proud of. Our heritage is one that relates back to basketball, and some communities talk about the teams of the 30s, some the 40s, 50s, but every community, I don't care where you go in Indiana, has some basketball team that they can tell you about. This is Marion, Indiana, home of the reigning high school basketball champ. We basically have won uh, six state championships, three in a row, with probably the best team ever to play in Indiana high school basketball. And you better come in and produce. I think uh, Coach Gunn is going to be a fine young coach, and uh, the townspeople will give him a chance, maybe one year, then he better produce, or Katie bar the door. The folks in Indiana are justifiably proud of their schools, their coaches, and their players. So don't tell them it's just high school basketball. The aliens landed in Marion, Indiana on game night. Uh, and they went to a basketball game, and they thought about invading Earth. They'd probably report back and say, I don't think we got a chance. Those people are crazy. Come see Bill Cosby in the hilarious new movie, Leonard Part 6. And be sure to enter the Holiday Inn Coca-Cola Leonard Part 6 movie sweepstakes. Just call 1-800-HOLIDAY today. Make a guaranteed reservation. Or come to Holiday Inn for details. You could win a Porsche 928 S4. Or hundreds of great prizes. So enter the Holiday Inn Coca-Cola Leonard Part 6 movie sweepstakes today. And here's to the winners. We're on your way. 
I hate having my picture taken. But ever since Beaky got the newest totally automatic Nikon one touch, he hasn't put it down. This Nikon has sharper focus, a really smart, smart flash, even a five-year lithium battery. But the best part is that I got to come in here for half price on Pan Am. Buy a one touch and a companion flies half price on Pan Am, even to Europe. Ooh, Pinky hasn't taken a bad picture of me yet. Welcome new Ford Festiva to the street. Quick, maneuverable, with 42 standard features and a six-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. It's so neat, complete, the words on the street. It's a Ford, it's a Festiva. It's a Ford, it's a Festiva. Have you driven a Ford lately? Saturday, O'Hara and Sable switch times. Kind of cute, Mr. O'Hara. Undercover at a killer health club. Money, boss. O'Hara at its new time, then. Who are you? A killer, and she's my next victim. Sable moves to his new time. Keep your doors locked. And if you could relive anything in your past, which would it be? The first day I came to work here. Love rekindled. That's the day you met me. Hotel after O'Hara and Sable. Tonight. Well, Denny, it's another basketball season. And just like always, everyone has a prediction. But there's one prediction that is for certain. It's going to be a long, cold winter. And your friends at H&S Hardware have the best defense against the cold weather. That's right, Coach. And you can keep the cold out with Allied Shrink Film Storm Window Kit. It's easy to install, crystal clear, and keeps your home warm in the winter, cool in the summer. Now only $1.39 each. What the heck with defense? Take the offense against the cold weather. With your friends at H&S Hardware. In the world of custom vans, a superior van is like no other. Because Cook and Reeves Superior Van is like no other custom van dealer in the world. They carefully custom build each van. Fully service every van they sell. Maintain a million-dollar inventory for your selection with unique features and distinctive paint that make their vans truly superior. If you want a van like no other, you'll find it at Cook and Reeve Superior Van, like no other custom van dealer in the world. Sea Hunt, Sunday afternoons at 5.30 on 32 WLKY. The first year of the Big Four Classic at the Hoosier Dome in Indianapolis and at halftime, Indiana in the second game, leading Kentucky 38-36. This ABC Sports exclusive being brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By Nikon, we take the world's greatest pictures. And by Nike, makers of the Air Revolution. Well, it's about as close as close can be, Richard. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Keith, could really be important now is the factor of foul trouble. Bennett's got three, and Locke's got three. It's going to be interesting to see, see if they attack it by getting the ball inside the Garrett. Also, the amazing story is Kentucky shooting 42%, and yet they're right in the contest. Indiana shooting better than 50%. Uh, Callaway was brilliant in the oh, first half. Yeah, great pair. The numbers on it, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 7 out of 9 from the field. That's well, I, I think he got the word that he was going to lose some playing time. So he decided, I better play. Look at this move right here. That's an NBA move. He has the presence to pull up with the little jump shot when Locke rotated over defensively. And then we watch the little give and go in a post. He throws in a post. Now look at Chapman. See, he comes into the post. He loses sight of Callaway, and Callaway goes bye-bye, Rex. Goes down the lane for an easy layup. And now we're going to take a look at Rex Chapman. They've really done a great job shutting down his perimeter shot. Steve Isle, Hillman have played him so tough. Little A.B., little air ball by Mr. Chapman. He looked like your shot right there, Keith. He is uh, the kind of a young fellow, though, that you, you can frustrate him, but I don't think you're going to discourage him, and there's a difference. Well, he's an All-American. All there he is now with the great anticipation to steal. He's got a tremendous vertical jump. He's a lock for the United States Olympic team. John Thompson loves him. If I had to pick three locks for that team, Keith, I'd go with David Robinson, certainly, and Danny Manning, who will be the player of the year, who does a great job for one of my favorite coaches, Larry Brown. And you got to put Chapman there because he can shoot the perimeter shot, even though we don't see it here. All right, how about the young fellow who was a national scoring leader last year from Army named Houston? 
Yeah, he's a good, good player who doesn't get a lot of recognition. The little guy has got a little trouble trying to defend people, though. As the Indiana Hoosier basketball team comes out on the court and this massive crowd watching their favorite sport, let me tell you this, that they ain't doing too bad in football either. And the Indiana football coach Bill Mallory just yesterday had his football contract extended a year through the 1992 season. So congratulations, William, you tough old rascal. Boy, he's a good football coach. Well, he really is a good coach, and they're on their way to the Peach Bowl, and I'm happy to that can be for it. Here goes Ricky Calloway, spinning and picking up an offensive foul as the second half gets underway. Both these teams, along with Notre Dame, do a great job of taking the offensive foul. They really have good foot movement. These coaches looking at Knight right here, and I know Sutton does the same. They really work on it. Good defensive play by Winston Bennett. Excellent call by the official. Three fouls on Callaway now. So that becomes a bit of a problem for Bob Knight. This is Bennett taking it and goes crashing into Dean Garrett, and Garrett is hit with a foul, and that's Dean's first. Joe Hillman starting the second half in place of Steve Isle for Indiana. Bobby Knight is absolutely a genius when you talk about the X's and O's of the game. Sure, he has some problems, and I don't agree with everything he does off the court, but if you just recognize what he achieves on the floor, and he's so loyal, he's a man of tremendous loyalty. He's rehired, you know, Tate's Locke, who gave him his first chance over at West Point. Let's set the Kentucky lineup as Winston Bennett goes to the foul line. Rob Locke is in there. He was banged to the floor pretty hard in that last melee. Rex Chapman is out. Ed Davender is out there, and so is Cedric Jenkins. Setting the lineup for Indiana. Hillman, we told you, is in there. Keith Smart, Dean Garrett, uh, Ricky Calloway, and uh, Todd Jadlow. There's Tate's Lock right there. Well, he was involved in quite a scandal when he got out of Clemson, wrote a book about some of the recruiting situations that he was involved in. Yet Bobby Knight, you talk about loyalty. Here comes full court trapping pressure. Kentucky pulls even on the two foul shots. All tied at 38 to get the second half rolling. Notice how Indiana swung the ball away from the trap. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Smart gets away from Chapman. Charges and goes down hard. Again, we look at the rotation defensively. I talked about it a little bit earlier. Bobby Knight, as we look at Bobby, and also Eddie Sutton, do a superb job of giving help defensively. Here comes Smart right now. Now watch the help rotate over. There's the help, comes right over. Lock takes the charge. Good ball by Tom Rucker. Galloway and Smart now both have three personal fouls. Oh, they missed Bennett. They had him wide open. Chapman. Well, he got that in the flow of the offense. He came off the screen, caught the ball, squared his body, and delivered the jump shot. Rex is now in the ball game. He has 11 points. Squared his body, just like the Admiral said, David Robinson with that little tip at halftime. Garrett King. Oh, Todd Jadlow. Great offensive rebound. He's tremendous hands, number 11. And so we're tied again at 40. What a basketball game. This is a guy, man, the electricity just flowing through my body, Keith, watching this. There's a foul inside. They're going to call it on Winston Bennett. He just literally ran over Keith Smart. Is that his fourth or is that his third? That's his fourth. fourth. Yeah, that's fourth. That's fourth big. They need his experience. they got to get him out. That'll get uh, Richard Madison back into the ball game in a hurry. Madison's quite a story. He started last year with the second leading rebounder on the team. And yet this kid is a tremendous athlete. Could throw to baseball 90 miles an hour. He's got great athletic ability. But one day he looks like a superstar. He's like that stock market. A Dow Joneser with a capital D. <laughs> Hillman handles it. This is smart. Look for a crack, couldn't find it. Got it to Garrett. Garrett doesn't get it down. Jadlow with a second successive. Tough, tough rebound, and they call a foul. We got him with a body because the hand was in the right place. It's on Jenkins. I asked Bobby Knight the other day in his office, as we look at Eddie Sutton, here's a very subdued Robert Montgomery Knight. I said, why does Jadlow play? He said, let me tell you something, Dick. He hangs around the basket. He walls around a little bit. 
and he said he always seems to come up with a good play here and there, and there's an example. All right, Smart brings it in to Jad Lowe, and is swinging around. Kentucky hey. shows their first zone key to the night, 2-3. Yep. First time we've seen it. And got the bounce. Smart had to wish it down. He got it. And Smart says, show that zone again, Mr. <laughs> Sutton. I like those gaps in that zone. Well, they're trying to shut off Callaway. He tore him up with his the cutting through the lane in that six-minute period in the first half. This is Davender. Won't go. Rebound Garrett. Smart running. And he has to slow it down as the Cats come back in a hurry. They do a great job in defense. Trentman. Oh. Garrett missed it on the lob. Could have been a tee. Chuck is yelling for it, but don't get it. Yeah, it should have been. He's hanging on the rim. You're not allowed to do that, except if you're protecting yourself after being fouled on an attempt at the basket. Looking inside of the big man. This is Callaway. Goes up and got it. He's playing like a superstar, Keith. He's not playing like a third option in their offense where Smart's number one and Garrett's number two. Listen to this hoop. Who's your hysteria? The red side of the house is up roaring at 1650. Indiana up by four and owns the ball. Big possession. If they had a three-point shooter, this could be big. Garrett gets a free one. Timeout. Get a timeout, Eddie Sun. Get a T.O. Get a timeout, Eddie. You could feel it. The Indiana faithful could feel it. The surge was coming. And Eddie Sutton could feel it. And that sent the storm flags up. 46-40 Indiana at 16. 32 to go. The new Honda CRX SI has a new double wishbone suspension system and a new 16 valve fuel injected engine that has 105 horses. That's a lot of horses. I could run off the road and you wouldn't know the difference. I can't stay awake. Here, yeah, revive with Vibrin. Vibrin helps wake you up. Government appointed experts confirm it's safe, effective. Revive with Vibrin. With so many automatic features, Zenith's new smaller VHS camcorder not only lets you take perfect pictures, it lets you show them again and again. Zenith. Quality. There's a new stonewashed jean made for a man after his work is done. American Hero Jeans from Wrangler, a proud sponsor of ABC's coverage of America's Olympic heroes. Lester's grandson's flying on business to the Far East. How far? Dayton? Nope, Taipei. You can't get there from here. Anybody tell Lester? No airline flies to more of the world from more of the U.S. than Northwest. The New York Jets are struggling to get atop the AFC East. The Miami Dolphins are battling for the same goal. Division rivals meet on ABC's Monday Night Football. A six-point lead for Indiana. And next Saturday, we'll be at Westwood, Los Angeles. Louis Carnesecca going out against the UCLA Bruins with his Red Men. And we'll also have Gary Bender and Joe B. Hall down in Baton Rouge. What an offensive rebound right there by Todd Jadlow, and he made another solid play before on a missed shot. There's the little jumper by Callaway, the long rebound to Garrett. Garrett gets the little jump shot. Hey, that's like playing horse when you give him that wide open shot. Tell me it's not true. 2,800 fans showed up at UCLA against Oral Roberts. I couldn't believe that when I read that stat. Things have uh, not started too strongly for them yet. Oh, the you know, St. John's will test them too. St. John's got an exciting new backcourt. Louis Cornesecca, Porter, and also Boo Harvey. All right, Kentucky in white, down by six. They call the timeout. Do they get the basket? Yes. By the senior, big play. He's a big play performer. Eddie Davender getting better and better and better. Four-point Hoosier lead now. Callaway handles the ball out in front. 
I'm so impressed with both clubs defensively. March open off Garrett's screen and Lock dies to get the rebound. Rob Lock played as good as he's ever played, I think, today. Remember the three-point shot. Kentucky has it with this kid. That's a two-pointer. And Cedric Jenkins got away with a push inside. He's a role player. He's not going to score. Lock is foul. Look at that Kentucky bench. They're very active. You talk about Rolls Royce program, Keith. Kentucky, Indiana, North Carolina. They used to have this big four concept down in North Carolina. That's the third foul on Jadlow. So now you've got Jadlow, Callaway, and Smarco with three persons. Look at Eddie Sutton. He's like, it's just another day at the office. It's not important. Long season to go. Got to save something. Well, I'll tell you what, this is one game you're going to let it all hang out, as you would say, in Oklahoma-Nebraska football. Nine points now for Rob Locke. He keeps playing like this. He is going to be soaring real high. He's a pilot, you know. He's got his pilot's license. Got a Reedley, California. Now it's a two-point Indiana lead. This is Callaway. Four straight Inside. points. Garrett. Lock goes crashing down, and they whistle Garrett for the foul. Might have been a little bit of thespian in Rob Lock that time. A little bit of Dustin Hoffman at his best. Bobby Knight doesn't like that call. We'll let you decide. It goes inside. Charlie Vacca now going to make the call. Oh, I don't know about the contact. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman, get your Academy Award, baby. Kentucky comes back down by two, 15-15 to play in the ball game. Madison handling in the corner with Davender Ed going back to his goggles to protect his eyes. They're just letting Cedric Jenkins have acreage out there in front. He's got all the time and room he wants. This is Madison knocked out of there by Garrett. And a whistle. They get the foul on Madison after he releases the shot. The Indiana... I tell you, you talk about Indiana in the Big Ten, but the Big Ten is going to be a war this year. There's the rotation. Now here comes the little drive by Madison. There's Garrett with the shot block. I didn't see the foul. They get Madison for the foul. Coming over the back of Jadlow, I think, his first. Big Ten has to be the premier conference in the nation with the Big East and the SEC, the ACC, and the Big Eight coming on strong. Those five conferences, year in and year out, talented players, talented coaches. Indiana, incidentally, Dick, already with uh, three fouls. And Kentucky, uh, five fouls, rather, and Kentucky with three. And here's another whistle. They're really getting after it on a glass. That's another foul against Indiana. Took a conference to get it defined. See, Bobby Knight wants to get the official to come over, but there's a new rule now, Keith. Bench decorum. He can't talk to the official. That's on Jadlow, and that's his fourth personal foul. He also got in foul trouble against Notre Dame really early in the game. Bobby will get him out any moment. But the other side of the story is, as the pass goes inside, the lock won't take it. Back to Jenkins, and he got it. Cedric Jenkins, who they say you can put him right on the beach and he'd miss the ocean. <laughs> he was able to deliver that, Jay. Indiana has 16 fouls now with 14 minutes to play. But see, he's a great role player. He'll guard people. He'll rebound. You can't have all scorers. Jenkins does his job. 14th time this game has been tied. It's tied now at 46. Six straight points by Kentucky. Jadlow. Rebound, Keith Smart. He's got the great legs. Foul. Jenkins or Locke? Well, it better not be on Locke for Eddie Sutton. That'll be number four. Personal foul, Kentucky. Number 55. Jenkins. His third personal, the team's He's got three. Locke has three. Bennett has four. Davender, two. They're smart with the baseline drive. He gets around. Jenkins, here comes Locke two over. He's smart, number 23. You know, Smart's got a great first step. They charge it on Jenkins, bumping him as he made that turn. Smart, four points. Start off the front. Came out of Garden City Junior College, played for Jim Carey, and they have a great player there this year, George Ackles, who's going to Nevada, Las Vegas, six foot ten. 
equaled in the last year's production against Kentucky. 13.50 to play. Indiana by a point. Last year, Chapman had 26 against Indiana. Garrett holds it out. Smart ball. Oh. Lost the ball. And the Cats come back with Davender. Three on two. And the Hoosiers seal it. Eddie Davender was defensive player of the year selected by a number of publications. He's a tremendous defensive player, number 15. Go ahead, Cedric. They're giving you all that room. Pop it up a couple of times. Yeah, look like Keith Jackson. Pull up that air ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got to go to lock right here. Oh, he walked. See Garrett playing like an official out there. <laughs> And he stopped and came out on the edge of the court. He got his attention and <laughs> he didn't really want to yell at him because the young man is kind of disappointed. He just said, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay, coach, I can uh, do it. I'll lobs in the team. Oh! And throw it over the top. I love the little dunk by Mr. Garrett, the Juco Jammer. 13 points. 49-46 Indiana at 12.40 to play in the game. I miss seeing Steve Alford out here. Watched him so many years. Oh, what a nice play. Oh. By Eddie they cleared out the side to form an isolation for Eddie Davender off the streets of Brooklyn, New York. He hung there for a half a minute, it seemed. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's up. Great body control. Hard shot. Tipped a little bit, I think, from the back by Davender, and that took... Some of it away from him. What a nice pass by Steve Isle. He gets inside, throws it over the top of the fronting lock who was fronting him, and Garrett jams it down. Keith Smart is out of the game. Jay Edwards is back in. Smart goes out two out of six from the field. I was really teasing Eddie something that I said, Eddie, if it's two minutes to go in a game and it's an even game, I said, who does the edge go to? You were nice. They said, the guy, he said, Dick, I'll let you make that decision. Derek Miller, number four, is in for Kentucky. Lanky, lean youngster. He can shoot the ball. Miller is an outstanding shooter who's been moaning and groaning that he's not getting any PT. Well, Jenkins just won't take that, will he? Miller will guarantee it when it goes over to Miller. He can shoot it. Locks in a little bit of trouble. Take it inside where Jenkins will put it up. Spins it off the glass and they call him for traveling. No basket. Eddie Sutton furious right here. Good baseline drive by Jenkins, but they got a walking violation. Time called at 11 minutes and 46 seconds to play in the ball game. And you score with more than 40,000 at the Hoosier Dome. 49-48 Hoosiers. We're running lights here. <laughs> Ask for Bud Light. Oh, a light beer with a first name and taste. Let me know when you're ready for another round. Because everything else is just the light. <laughs> A message from Payne Weber, one of America's leading full-service investment firms. We're talking now with Donald Marin, chairman of Payne Weber. Did October the 19th underscore the fact that we're a world economy? Well, we're in a totally different world. We're in a world where when you get in the office the first thing in the morning, you ask what the Japanese stock market did the night before. We're in a world where you want to know what's going on in Washington before you want to know what's going on in Wall Street. We're in a world where things look very good right now, the economy is in strong shape, unemployment is a historically low level, interest rates are down, but everybody's worried. Now what's that all telling us? It's telling us that the future is very uncertain, but that the future can be very optimistic. It's a combination of Wall Street, Main Street, and Washington. If they all work together, we are going to be looking very good in 1988 and 1989. Thank you. And if we can be of any help to you, please give us a call. Well, Tim Brown, I understand, has been named officially as the winner of the Heisman Trophy. That was the biggest lock since Yale. I'll tell you, he had 
no way was he going to lose that. Look at a little walking violation, a little dance by Jenkins. See, Jenkins lifts the pivot foot before he puts the ball to the deck and does a little shuffle, a little cha-cha-cha. Charlie Vaca and Tom Rucker made the call from the wing. Well, while he's doing his cha-cha-cha, he's getting a lump, 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 too, inside. Look at my Michigan Wolverines with Bill Frieda winning by 30. Oh, he loaded up on a lot of marshmallows in the month of December. He's got the Centrals, the Northerns, the Easterns, the Western Michigan. Arm, Army beat Navy in football, 17 yep. Wishbone still working for Dick Young. You love talking about that pick skin, but I'm converting you to the round ball. <laughs> All right, inside they go to Dean Garrett, and it comes out on him. He had it halfway down, and it crawled out. And Kentucky's going to come away with it, and they're going to get a foul whistled on Jay Edwards. Speaking of fouls, that's his second. Jadlow has four, Callaway three, Smart three. Smart's out of the game right now. Kentucky's foul situation, Bennett four, Lock three, and Jenkins three. Well, so many games, it's like the special teams in football, team. You win games with your special play, meaning your free throw line. So many games, ask Syracuse now. They sit home at three and two, as opposed to being maybe five and oh, but they could make the shots on a free throw line against North Carolina, and also, well, Arizona just totally beat them late in the game and, and, and won that game going away. That's Indiana's seventh foul, so Derek Miller is going to go to the line now to shoot a one and one. Well, he was all over the paper down in Lexington saying that he was unhappy that he's not getting any playing time. And he suddenly told me when you play for Kentucky, you get more publicity when you don't play than when you play. <laughs> Probably true. Garrett turns around and can't get it to go down. Miller, incidentally, missing that free throw. Eddie Sutton still does not have a single point off the Kentucky bench. Not a single point. And yet he's only trailing by one to Indiana, 49-48, with 11 minutes to play in the ballgame. Surprised he's not playing Manuel and Ellis a lot more. We heard so many Look at that. See, I told you Jenkins could make that shot. Yeah, I know you want him to shoot that. I'll tell you something. You're rooting like heck for that underdog out there. There's five players on a four. He's like the sixth option. <laughs> my, my Walter Mitty of the, this ball game. Kentucky back to the lead by one, 50 to 49. Here comes Edwards. Look at Cedric go up for it. Great rebound. He plays so hard. You got to admire a guy like Jenkins who doesn't have great ability. Miller. That's in and out. Jenkins rebounds on the baseline and got it. Is he playing with some intensity and emotion? Cedric Jenkins. He said, no, it's not the Rex Chapman show or the Keith Smart show. It's Jenkins. Steve Isle takes it into Garrett. And Dean's got one. And he's got a foul whistle. Hey, Keith, I'd like you to get a better basketball game than this in a month of December. This is like a Final Four setting. Look at Garrett holding post inside. They dump the ball inside to Garrett. He's got Locke on his back. He's posting up. A little fake. Drop step. Takes it up. Lays it on the glass. Deep Garrett. Confidence galore. That means he's going to have to get Locke out of there, too, isn't he? It almost looked like he shuffled his pivot foot right there. I didn't see it close enough. That's four on lock. Yeah, he's got to play Ellis. All right, 51 Indiana, 52 Kentucky. They missed the opportunity to tie, and the Wildcats handle the ball. Might as well give them a little baptism right now, Ellis. Might Find well. out what it's about. Davender forces one and doesn't get the bounce. Eddie Davender so strong with his driving ability from out of There's boys and girls high school in Brooklyn, New York. Lock goes out now with four personals and LaRon Ellis comes in. There's Ed Davender will go to the free throw line. Here's the drive by Davender. He's really blossomed this year under Eddie Sutton. Eddie Sutton has had a history of coaching great guards. He's had Moncrief and Brewer and Robertson and Darrell Walker at Arkansas, where he did a great job in that program. He won so big there. In fact, he and Dean Smith have the longest win streak right now going to the NCAA. He's got 11 consecutive births, and Dean has got 13. Two-point Kentucky lead off the free throw by Ed Damander. Fouls are going to be a factor in the last two or three minutes of this ball game, I expect. Fouls and also free throw shooting. All right, it's Isle, Edwards, Hillman, Callaway, Garrett for the Hoosiers. They have the ball. And remember, Chapman's on the sideline. Lob to Garrett. They missed and got a piece of it. He's rebounding like a terror, but they missed Isle. He was wide open in their rotation. They missed him. 
Could have had an easy layup for Isle there. Garrett didn't find him. Madison handles the ball. Chapman is getting a rest right now. This is a big best possession for Kentucky. Big possession. Tell you, Cedric Jenkins is becoming a star. Yeah, he really is. He's becoming a household name right now. <laughs> Number 55, Cedric Jenkins. Seven rebounds and eight points. And Kentucky leads, biggest lead of the ball game by five, 56-51. Back after this commercial and a word from our local station. What concessions will be made at the summit? Watch the Jennings Koppel Report Sunday. Items like these and more. More people in Kentuckyana are shopping at Drug Emporium. A recent independent pricing survey shows why. The same 25 name brand items were purchased at Taylor Drugs, costing $113.20, and at Walgreens for just over $100. And at Drug Emporium, only $79.96. Savings from 25 to 41 percent every day. If you don't shop Drug Emporium, you're paying too much. Call for a forecast anytime, 585-1212. A little meeting going on with the Kentucky folks. At one end, on the other side, Indiana has concluded theirs, and this is what Cedric Jenkins just did a moment ago to Dean Garrett. Well, he froze him with a little head fake, and there's the reaction of the bench. There's the All-American. Chapman says, I love it. Look at him. He's a team player. He's having not a great Rex Chapman day, but he's still into the game. All right, Indiana sends out this time Callaway, Isle, Hillman, Smart, and Garrett. You know, it's amazing, Keith. Both clubs are shooting 45%. As we look at the foul trouble, that could be vital here. Bennett with four, Callaway is smart, and Edwards with three, and Jadlow four. Lockwood four is really big, and Jenkins with three. But Big, most, big oh, story is right there, too, Dick. Look at that. Three out yeah, of ten for Chapman. Three out of ten for Chapman, or maybe they'd be winning easy. Yeah, I see. Chapman just got whistled for a foul. Foolish little foul. He just ticky-tack, got out there and slapped him on the arm as he tried to double team with Davender. That's his second person. When you talk about the great score and big guards in the country, you got to talk about Chapman. Hersey Hawkins is unbelievable down at Bradley. Had a 40-point explosion yesterday. Vernon Maxwell's a dandy one of Florida. Front line inside now for the Hoosiers. Gilman looking outside. Galloway cuts the lane. Go the other way to Isle. Galloway's had the big day. Hillman goes in. Leron Ellis puts it right back in his face. Freshman makes a big defensive play. Ellis 24 trying to check Garrett. They got to go at Ellis though. Yeah, they they take... There's a foul on Madison. Got a little too physical with Steve Isle. See, right now, I would indoctrinate Mr. Ellis. I would attack him inside. Here's Hillman now. They isolate. They bring it over. Here comes Ellis. Good shot block right there about the kid from modern day high school in California. As we take a look at Hillman, there's the rotation over by Ellis. He steps off of Garrett. Both teams now in the seventh plus foul area. Everybody will be shooting from now on. That's second foul on Madison. See, here's where Mr. Knight would love to have a three-point shooter like a Mr. Alford, who was such a clutch shooter, was the best three-point shooter in America last year, shot better than 50%. Now with the Dallas Mavericks. Isle has not scored, still hasn't. Their first shot is off the front iron. 
to really break their back if they get Chapman free for a three-pointer. There, almost had him right there. Ellis was inside, Garrett on him. Now Laron comes out. They're really doing a good job with their perimeter defense on Chapman. Notice how they're always aware where he is. Hillman's playing him. Watch Hillman away from the ball. 44. Davender against Smart. Little too much hand checking by Keith Smart. Take a look at Hillman right now defensively, 44. He knows where Chapman is. Now he's going to deny ball you man theory. He sees the ball. He sees his man. He knows where the screen is. Look at him right now, 44 on three. See, he knows where Chapman is. He doesn't give him any breathing room at all. He's right in his face. That's the ultimate respect with a capital R, the way Hillman is playing defense on Chapman. Davender, 17 points in the ball game. He had four out of four from the line. Now five out of five. Foul wow. trouble. Jadlow, now smart, four for Indiana. Galloway, Edwards, each have three. When you talk about the great backcourts, I believe you've got to start with Davender and also with Chapman. We're not seeing a vintage Rex Chapman performance, but he and Davender make sweet music. Second shot comes out. Garrett clears. Smart has it. In the corner, Callaway got away from Madison, missed the shot. Rebound, Garrett. You need that from your senior, Keith. That's called leadership. Callaway's getting a little bit cold now, and Garrett comes up with a great offensive rebound. Violation Turn it over. And Lyndon Jones is coming in for Indiana. 6'1, 182, a guard. He's going to replace Jay Edwards. He and Edwards were teammates on that state championship team at Marion. So he's a Jones is in. He's a floor leader. He's a point guard. He's a penetrator and a passer. Callaway gets it to him, and bingo, Jones scores right off. Remember in the last game, Jay Edwards came off the floor, and he sparkled immediately. The same thing now. Jones comes in, and he gets a big deuce. What a time to enter the game. 55-57. Now Kentucky makes it a four-point lead off that basket. Davender educates him really quick. He said, Lyndon Jones, this isn't high school, big fella. Ed's got 20 now. Kentucky bench still has not produced a single point. Lob it inside. Jones saves it. Callaway finally picks it up. Kentucky plays great pressure defense on the wings. They really force your offense out high. That's short by Callaway. Gets it back. Muscles it up and score it. Madison dings with a foul. I think it is. Callaway, 18 points. Is he hustling? Is he hitting the offensive boards? You really play, you're playing aggressive basketball when you hit the offensive boards, Keith. We take a look at Callaway now on the baseline. There's the little jump shot. No one blocks him out. He gets the loose rebound. He converts it and scores. Three-point opportunity now. Chance to pull Indiana to within one point. There are three things that happen to show you're playing aggressive basketball. Block shots, offensive rebounds, and steals. Now it's a one-point ball game. Kentucky leading, six minutes, 35 seconds to go in the ball game. It's a knee knocker. It's Mailock's time at its best here. Then it's back in for Kentucky. Chapman, three-pointer, won't go. Ellis rebounds it for the catch. That's a three-pointer. Nope. One of those days. Foul. That may be Bennett, and if it is, he's gone. Dean Garrett shows a lot of enthusiasm on the floor. Chapman seems to me like he's shooting a little too quick, and he's getting too much palm on a basketball, Keith. He's not getting that good rotation and the finger roll that, he's normally, that he normally has. Winston Bennett has just fouled out. For Kentucky. Now watch him right here. See, he's throwing up a heavy ball right now. And that's not his normal shot. See, I disagree a little bit with David Robinson about where you shoot for. Now, he shoots for the back of the rim. 90% of the players use the front of the rim as the guide. He's coming up long right now, Chapman. But I'm not going to disagree. I think Robinson shoots a little better than I do. 
timeout taken by Kentucky as Bennett leaves Madison had come in to replace him you've got 611 to play in the game and a one-point lead for the Kentucky Wildcats you know these teams have the same philosophy defensively Keith when you talk about good defensive transition or the kind of pressure they play they do four things one they pressure the ball two they deny on the wings three they beat cutters to the ball and four they usually block out and when you're doing that as a team you're gonna have lots and lots of success tomorrow on ABC Sports top men and women professional golfers Dan Stevenson, Andy Bean, Pat Bradley, many of them teeing off. Action begins at 4 Eastern, 3 Central, and Pacific tomorrow on ABC Sports. They're playing down in Florida where it's nice and warm. And playing well, I might add. I watched some of that yesterday. And I'll be heading to Bradenton, Florida tonight. Oh, we'll have a nice trip. <laughs> where you've been, you deserve it. Monday, it's an AFC East battle on ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. Crucial game, really, the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. That's at AFC East, you know, where everybody's within a handshake of each other, tied up. They've been like that all season long. It's at 9 Eastern time, Monday night here on ABC Sports. Well, they think they can win it here with Eric Dickerson, who to me has got to be the biggest crybaby in the history of sports. I only make 670000 a year? I can't believe that, Keith. If you make it, put it in the bank and be quiet, but don't moan and groan about it. Personally, I'm doing more giggling than almost anybody over the success of Bo Jackson because I think that puts a bit of a hole in the great myth. He's something else. I'll tell you one thing. With his, with his success, he's going to say bye-bye to baseball ultimately. I don't think so. Let's talk basketball now. Forget All right. That well, I, I'm, you, I got a one-pointer with 6-11 to play. You got one team, Kentucky ranked second in the nation. The other defending national champions ranked fifth in the nation. And this one's going right down probably to the last gas, but I don't see any reason to think these two teams won't be looking for a ticket to the Final Four. They're that good, I think, or have the potential to be that good. You made a good point this afternoon when you opened up here at 2 o'clock about the parity that exists. Five oh. number one teams have already been beaten when you look at Florida, you look at Michigan, Purdue, Syracuse, and also Kansas. That shows you the unpredictability. That's the major theme in college hoops this year. Unpredictability. One thing, though, that jumps out at me as uh, we have come this far in the ball game is Ricky Calloway, who's having a huge day, 20 points and 8 rebounds, got one there to tie the game again at 59. But Indiana, Bob Knight's had 13 points off the IU bench. Eddie Sutton has yet to get a single point yeah, from the Kentucky bench. He's not getting any scoring at all out of Ellis coming off the bench, and he didn't get anything out of Miller and Madison, but he does he's not playing his bench exclusively. Cedric Jenkins having a big day for the Wildcats. Winston Bennett has fouled out. LaRon Ellis is inside with Garrett trying to control him. Been an off day for Rex Chapman. He's three out of 12. This is Ellis. Still hasn't really decided to take it to the basket. Well, they wanted and a foul called here on Hillman. They wanted a walk in violation on Davender. So many kids the lift their pivot foot before, before they put the ball to the floor. Hillman, his second personal. Bobby calling over one of his players. He certainly can't get the official to come over. Bench decorum this year, and you're not allowed to talk to the official. As Davender at the line, number 15. Ed Davender right now is the leading scorer for Kentucky with 20 points. Look at the foul situation. Smart's got four, a key player, and Lockwood four, a very key player. First game today, won by Notre Dame over Louisville, 69-54, and David Rivers had a, well, he was the conductor of the whole thing, really. Davender really shooting free throws well. Big, One, big possession. 22 points now. You almost sense that Rex Chapman's got to deliver a bomb, a three-point bomb that'll have this place explode with a blue and white. 61-59, Kentucky leading Jones to the corner to Callaway. Inside they look to Garrett. Ellis is holding him in there. I don't mean physically holding. I mean he's standing his ground. They got to go to Garrett. He's got to take advantage of the freshman Ellis. They got to go inside to the big guy, 22. Jones tries to find the crack, and they won't let him in. Boy, Ellis impressing me the way he's trying to defend him. They get an offensive foul on him. Oh, no, they don't. They get it on Ellis for a hole. You can call that any way you want, Keith. You can call it if you want on Ellis. You can call it if you want on Garrett. 
The senior got away with a claw here. The freshman, the rookie, is going to get nailed. There he is denying. He's denying. Look at Garrett pushing. Look at Garrett pushing. I get it on 22. His first personal. I think there was a little deception there, Lance. <laughs> I didn't see much of a foul. I can understand why he's upset, but now is not the time to get upset. Now is the time, as Leroy would say to him, bow your neck, square your jaw, and get in the trenches. And get in there where the heavy stuff happens. The crowd at today's game, we knew it would be just over 40, 43,601. You don't think this thing isn't going to go on for a few years? At 25 bucks a pop? Mm -hmm. Every possession becomes big now, but remember, Chap oh, what a move inside. You got Couldn't get any spin on it. Locked back in the game, goes up, and he is fouled by Garrett. It is a war on the boards inside, Keith. They're really attacking the glass. You talk about Windex, man. And this guy's as calm as cool. He sat through so many of these games. He said, the reason I like games like this is because you get a true barometer as to where you stand rather than beating up on people. Now watch all the fighting inside. I thought there was contact here, but look at Locke now. He's a pilot. He's playing with four fouls, too. Yeah, a good touch on the free throw line there. 62-60, Kentucky. Time remaining, 4.55. Got them both. Joe Hillman, Lyndon Jones, backcourt for Indiana. It's interesting to see him go with Lyndon Jones instead of Jay Edwards. Edwards is a three-point shooter. Jones is more of a ball handler. Galloway's open. Can't let him get open today. That's NBN. Nothing but nylon. Say what? Nothing but nylon. You like that one. What? One point lead. Kentucky. Kentucky goes a little high low and lock up high. Now he slides into the low post. Daminer working against Jones. Gets it up. Won't go down. Foul Jones. They're isolating Daminer. They're really trying to take advantage of Daminer one-on-one against the rookie, personal the freshman, foul. Lyndon Jones. Number four, Lyndon Jones, his first personal. I think he's got to go in with his experience now and get aisle on the floor. Oh, no, he's going with Jadlow, a big player. Kentucky free throwing, 19 of 23 for 83%. Jadlow comes back in for Indiana now. I said Isle. Isle's on the floor. I didn't mean Isle. I meant getting the big guy in, Jadlow, so he can rotate over and get Hillman in the backcourt. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's right around 230, 228. Well, he's yeah. a very active player on the offensive boards, and Kentucky's really attacking the glass, so Jadlow now gives him a lot of size up front with Garrett. Steve Isles got to come up with a big play. He's a solid defensive player. He's a defensive specialist. One of the keys we said for Indiana to have a chance to win was to shut down Rex Chapman. They have closed him and locked well, him up. They've done that, but Isles hasn't scored either, and now Davinder misses yeah. both uh, free throws. Yeah, Isles not even looking at the basket. He's not thinking offense against Notre Dame. He was thinking of his shot. But Jenkins is a tough defensive player who's guarding him. Take it inside to the baseline. Uh, I'll almost lost it. That will right back to Garrett against uh, Locke. And that was an air ball with Locke getting the ricochet. Every possession, Mr. Jackson, getting bigger and bigger. This is Chapman. Oh, yes. Sweet. He's got more moves than Ivan Bolsky, baby. Look at that move right there. Change of direction. He hasn't tried to really take the ball to the goal at all, Keith. He's been playing stationary. Garrett, oh good shot, Locke gets the rebound. If they Locke score, was giving him the shot, and he didn't make it. If they score here, he's got to get a timeout, Bobby. And remember, he's very stubborn about calling a timeout. Locke now has eight rebounds for the ball game. The amazing thing is how he's improved. Last yeah, year, I didn't even has. know he was on the floor. He really has. I think Jenkins is a much better player this year. Oh, too. yeah, Jenkins really working defensively. That's a travel. Well, remember, Jenkins was hurt a lot last year with a stress fracture in his ankle. See, here's where you wish you had that three-point shooter. That's one of the deficient areas with Indiana. I know Chris Smith can shoot it. 
and also Edwards, but they're not on the floor now, especially at vital time. Took it to the floor and lost it. Walton in possession, goes to Kentucky. That's 16 turnovers for Indiana, 16 turnovers for Kentucky. Well, there's been balance right through, shooting percentage, rebounding totals, the scoreboard's the most important area, and the plus three for the people in bluegrass country. 2.52 to play in the game, 65-62, Kentucky. See, right now, they can really break your back if Chapman comes off that screen and drills that three-point shot. He's too good a shooter to be coming up empty like he's doing. Keith Smart's coming back in for Indiana with four fouls. Yeah, good move. I thought he waited a little longer. I thought he was going to get him in a little sooner. But he gets him in there with 2.52. Is there any doubt these two clubs are going to be in the NCAA tournament as a no. field of 64? Well, I would not say on today's outing there's any doubt. No but it's doubt. a long road. Richard Madison. Inside, Chapman blocked beautifully by Dean Garrett. What a play by the big man. Well, Garrett got that ball as it was going up. Remember, it's goaltending if he gets the ball on its downward flight. Here goes Chapman. Chapman's becoming a little bit more active with the ball now. There he is. And Garrett says, no way, Rex. Go back out on the perimeter. There he is. Won't go. Madison saved that ball. Jenkins came away with it, but Madison did the heavy work. And if you're Eddie Sutton, you want him to continually shoot that three-point attempt. Davender on a drive. Eat him up inside like that. Finally. Ball on Davender. Garrett really playing tough defense. Tenacious inside, but Kentucky really owning the glass in the last five minutes. I think it was a little myth that he lost that ball on the baseline, too. When there was two trees down there, Callaway and Garrett, he really didn't have any place to go. There goes Davender. There's the rotation by Garrett. Well, you got a plus three. That's a four-point turnaround if he converts these fouls. It's big. And the lead is only three. Well, if you... If Davender scores there, you're looking at 67-62. He converts these two, and I'm not a mathematical genius. It's 65-64. Got a bounce. Mickey walks away, kind of shaking his fingers, feeling lucky. Had a lot of fun with the general yesterday. Missed that one. And Madison gets it for Kentucky. Two-point cat lead. Remember, Smart's got four fouls, and he's checking Chapman. They should get the ball over to Chapman's hands. There he is. Thank you. You should get into his hands. Smart's got four and can't really close them off. Four-point lead, minute 40 to play in the ball game. Edge, Kentucky right now. He's going to get Hillman on the floor. Callaway's open. What a game he's playing. He's playing like an All-American today, not just a role player. Ricky 25 Callaway. points. I would go right at Smart again. I'd go at Chapman again. They lay in a vertical screen down and try and get Chapman with a little vertical screen. Timeout. Yeah, it's a big, big possession. Minute and three. You got a plus two in the ball. Timeout called by Kentucky. It's the third timeout. Woo-wee. Take a breath. We'll be right back. Wow. Wow. Year in, year out. You expect quite a lot out of your car. But just what have you put into it lately? Give your car the good life with STP gas treatment. Stereo television. Once you hear how great it sounds on a Zenith, you'll think we invented it. We did. Zenith. Quality. You know, the other day, my MCI rep called me up. Says he'd like to stop by with some new ideas. I think my long distance gets complicated again. Then he shows me how I've outgrown my current MCI service. And with a couple of changes, I can have more efficient, more economical long distance. I couldn't believe it. This MCI guy called me up.
to lower the bill. Until you call, you'll never know how much better a long-distance company can be. MCI. Let us show you. Honda Accord LXI. You've always wished you could play like that. Arnold Palmer, Jan Stevenson, and more. Golf's best come together in a mixed team competition. It's the J.C. Penney Classic tomorrow on ABC Sports. That particular golf tournament for the men and women is probably the only time the neck is legal on the golf course. <laughs> Eddie Sutton right there talking to this Kentucky Wildcat. Well, remember, Indiana's got three timeouts left. Eddie's only got one remaining right now, and it's a big possession right here. Rex Chapman, you know, you talked about the three-point shot during the break. You and I were talking about it, how I use 0 for 0, and University of Kentucky's only 2 for 5 as we look at it right here. But that is a big, big stat for this reason. That could be the downfall of Indiana this year in the big, big games. And also, Kentucky's going to be much better than 2 for 5 with Chapman. Well, in that first game today, when Notre Dame beat Louisville, oh, uh, 69-54. Oh, violation oh, almost. 14 and uh, almost turned it over there. Well, remember the ball. Uh, they do. Ahead to Hillman. And Chapman reaches over the shoulder and fouls him. Watch out for a technical wreck. 67-65. Almost had the turnover on the entry from the sideline. The ball in college basketball must be released and touched by a player on the floor by the count before the count of five. Well, that's a touch foul going after the loose ball. Yeah, but Kentucky didn't protect the ball. They let it get away. Yeah, they had a possession. That's a golden opportunity they possessed. This kid's automatic at the free throw line. He can now tie it at 67, and that would be the 16th tie in this game. There it is. He took Smart out of the game because he was unhappy with Smart defensively in that move against. He's a tough cookie to play for. He sent a message to Smart. You don't play defense, you're not going to be on the floor. Madison holds it out in front. 49 seconds. Chapman up. No. Whistle. Foul. And I think Hillman just got hit with a foul. I got to regroup here, Keith. I can't believe this is an opening game practically in a month of December. The intensity, the, the efficiency defensively. Look at him fight over that squeak. Oh, he runs him right down. I mean, Hillman throws a body block that Bill Mallory would love to have him on a football team. And going to the line will be Rob Block, who is six out of six today from the foul line. Yeah, he's had great rotation today on that line. Kentucky back to the lead, 68-67, with 47 seconds to play. The first year of the Big Four Classic in the Hoosier Dome. They don't move. Eight for eight. The big fella. Well, remember now, the three-point shot, if it were to happen, Hillman's possibly a candidate. Heil whips it into Garrett. Lock takes it away from him. And clears to Chapman. 30 seconds to play. Callaway and Chapman in the backcourt. Double-teamed whistle foul Callaway. They should run out the clock. It's a good foul right there, but Chapman is like an automatic free throw shooter. He's a better than 80% shooter. Four fouls on Ricky Callaway. Watch the turnover. Well, he got an elbow right in him. There's the pops out of Garrett's hands. You notice the way they lay that forearm on the back of that post player? Can't play center anymore. Can't, don't have sharp elbows. <laughs> Well, let's set the stage here now. He converts these two. You got a four-point game. Down is two for two on the line. Got it. Hit that back iron, but it slipped down through there to make it a 70-67. Bob Knight suffering on the bench. Well, Only 25 seconds to play. This is the big free throw of the game right here. Yep. Made it plus four. Bobby's got to get a timeout. Got it. Austin, three seconds to get it. So, 
Berber to the blue and white side. Plotting and planning to the red and white side with only 22 seconds to play and a four-point Kentucky lead. Used to be, an economy car was efficient and affordable, but a bit underpowered. That was then. This is now the new fuel-injected four-door Civic from Honda. It's a Radio Shack Merry Christmas. Oh, I remember that Christmas. Dad gave me my first shortwave radio from Radio Shack. What memories. This Christmas, we got our son's color computer three from Radio Shack. It hooks right up to our TV and was on sale for less than $130. The color computer three makes learning fun. Jimmy even lets me use it for word process. When he isn't playing computer games. Lucky I still got my shortwave. Save $70 on the sale-priced color computer three. Only at Radio Shack. In a tight, tough moment like this, the single most important thing is for the coaches to agree. There they are. Talk to the kids. That's Dan Dockage, who's facing Bobby Knight, who did a great job on Michael Jordan one year. That's Ron Felling to his right. Right now, my feeling would be, Keith, a lot of people would think three-point shot. The three-point shot would only take you down to one, and it's a higher percentage shot, especially in Indiana. They haven't converted one and haven't attempted one. I'd go for the quick deuce score as quickly because I don't believe Kentucky will contest you that much in terms of on the inside. Get the deuce because they don't want to foul basically. Get the score well, and then try to force me. You say quick deuce so where are you going for it? Garrett? Well I'd go inside to Garrett right away for a slam dunk and then what I would do is try to make the quick steal along the baseline and if we don't get it foul immediately and hope they miss the foul. They publish a catalog with all those wishes, hopes, and dreams. <laughs> well, you can wish it's Christmas time. Santa Claus, you can't be screwed. You've got to wish. Uh, all right, let's see how they've chosen to play it. Edwards is a good shooter. He's your guy. Yes. He can put it up from three points. Keith Smart. Well, he go goes off the front iron. Inside, rebound, out of bounds. Indiana keeps the ball. 14 seconds to play. Well, he goes for the three. If he makes it naturally, it's a big shot. Because yep. then if you foul... But I didn't think it was a high percentage shot. They were 0 for 0. Boy, what a free throw shooting performance by Locke and Chapman. They were 12 for 12 between them. Do you hear that, Jimmy Bayheim in Syracuse? That's where you win games on a free throw line. Garrett got it. There's a quick lose. And nine seconds. A good timeout, and now you try to get the steal and foul immediately. 71-69, Kentucky by two. Now, you tell the people the story about that Niagara the ball game the other night if they're wondering what can happen in nine seconds. I told you the story. Eight-point lead by the ball against Niagara with about 15 seconds to go. And all of a sudden, there's a fight breaks out. Technical on the ball, kid. Kid leaves the bench. Automatically, technical on the coach. They shoot the four. Technicals make them. Make the three-point shot on the inbounds of the ball. Cut it to one. Joey Meyer was ready to go bananas, but he got very lucky as they missed the last shot, uh, Niagara, after getting the ball back. But right here, Keith, we have a situation where we got a two-point game, and we got nine seconds. The clock doesn't start until the ball is touched on the floor. Indiana will, as it's charting right here, I don't think we have a mic in here, do we? important it is to get the ball in bounds right here and right now indiana knows how important it is to try and make the steal or force the turnover and if they don't get that turnover they got the foul immediately it's gonna be interesting to see if the officials blow the intentional foul trying to stop it and give them two shots in the ball or do they call it a one-on-one well again uh, i oftentimes feel that officials uh, have so many judgment calls to make that it sometimes gets to an almost unfair level and, and they are put now in a posture of having uh, another judgment call to consider that would be a big call if you call it intentional unless it was obvious that's a good good point you just made they're face guarding on the inbound they're face guarding lock double team that now you tell me that wasn't intentional now i'll let you judge one and one one and one 
Well, see, they're going to argue back. They're saying, Dick, the rule says as long as you're going after the ball, it's not intentional to stop the clock. I asked you if this was not intentional to stop the clock. Here comes the entry by Chapman. Here comes the double team. And I mean, he mugs them. That's got to be an intentional foul, Key. I don't care what the interpret. That's got to be a flat-out intentional foul. Now, don't you think, though, the, what they really had in mind was to stop this pushing and tripping and grabbing from the back when it appears somebody is on their way to a basket, like they called the intentional early in the game on Hillman when it appeared that the Indiana man, I mean, the Kentucky man, was on his way for almost sure two points. Well, that, that was the rationale on that call. When they initially put in the rule, but this year they put it in because they thought there was too much fouling at the end of the game. But when they put in that little little uh, word at semantic where you say if he's going for the ball, you'll very rarely then have an intentional foul because coaches are going to just teach. Make like you're going for the ball and grab him. Well, I'm exhausted, Keith. It's been a long, beautiful afternoon here, I tell you. And I'm even converting you to get away from, I understand you want to get away from football and just do basketball. <laughs> I, I think that officiating uh, in college basketball is almost like walking the corridors of jurisprudence these days. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is cut and dried anymore. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We've had a great way to open college basketball. I'd like to see more games where the great teams play each other. Not like my friend Larry Brown getting Pomona Pitzer. It sounded like a drink he concocted out of <laughs> Hawaii on a way back to get a W. Now, I know that's a great school academically, I know, but they don't have the basketball tradition for the Rock Chalk Jayhawk fans. Next Saturday, we'll be in California in Westwood. I'm going to see my favorite coach, Walt Hazard. He's going to scream, Vital, you never give us any respectability in a Pac-10. And I just scream back, but Walter, just win, and we will scream your praises. And some of you will be seeing the Maryland Terrapins, Derek Lewis, against Dale Brown's LSU Bayou Bengals. All right, here comes the money, marbles, and chalk right here. Two-point Kentucky lead and lock on the line. He's eight for eight, and he missed it. Uh-oh, the first one he's missed. Indiana five up. seconds four no three missed it up oh! we're going to overtime we have overtime Now watch number three, Jay Edwards, the freshman. Here he is, the Marion superstar. Lays it up. He tickles the twine, and we're in OT, Mr. Jackson. OT. Before we go away, let me tell you that Rob Locke has suffered a sprained ankle. You can go Hollywood as long as you go home afterwards and take a nice hot shower. Eddie Murphy, Don Johnson, and Sean Connery in an all-new Barbara Walters special, Tuesday. Well, Denny, it's another basketball season. And just like always, everyone has a prediction. But there's one prediction that is for certain. It's going to be a long, cold winter. And your friends at H&S Hardware have the best defense against the cold weather. That's right, Coach. And you can keep the cold out with Frost King self-sticking foam weather stripping. It's easy to install and provides an airtight seal. 60-foot roll on sale for only $1.79. But the heck with defense. Take the offense against the cold weather. With your friends at H&S Hardware. Making ends meet hasn't been easy with three of us at home. Jobs are pretty scarce around here, especially since neither my husband or me finished school. Things are going to be different for this one. He's going to stay in high school if I have to tie him to his chair. Sometimes I wish someone had done me that way. Ashland Oil urges you to keep your children in school. There's no better way to show them you care. I just love your new home. Thank you. Your windows are beautiful. They're the very latest. Peachtree's aerial insulated windows. These are real wood. Aren't they those awful loose snap-in grills? Here's the best part. This entire wood section lifts up. <laughs> Look at that. So the window's easier to stain, paint, 
and clean. And he can't paint this window shut. Pastry designed Ariel to open and shut easily. Clay Ingalls Company, Kentuckiana's largest selection of peach tree windows and doors. Jeopardy, Saturday nights at 7.30 on Channel 32. Eddie Sutton talking to Rob Locke there. He's not in the lineup. He suffered apparently something of a mild ankle sprain as uh, Callaway took the ball down. Indiana wanted a foul here. Didn't get it. Locked down there. Edwards picked up the ball, dropped it through to send us to overtime in the 17th tie in the ball game. 71-71. Here's where fouls now become a big problem, Dick. Jadlow four, Callaway four, Smart four, Edwards three, Garrett three for Indiana. Kentucky, Chapman three, Bennett out of the game, fouled out. Lock four, Jenkins three, Madison three, Tavenger three. It's such an unbelievable contest, these two teams. They say Bobby Knight suffered his toughest loss and cried like a baby in a locker room. Back in 75, one of his players, Mark Tabor, went into the locker room after leaving his bag and caught Bobby Knight crying as we looked at Robert Locke after they lost 92-90 to Kentucky. And that was the year he had those great players, Buckner and Wilkerson and May and Benson, but May was out of the game. And that was their only loss in two years. They were 63 and 1. Ellis comes out in place of Locke now. Ellis, Madison, Chapman, Davender, Jenkins for Kentucky. They'll do it again. For Indiana, it is Isle, Callaway, Garrett, Jadlow, and Hillman. Remember, you only start the game with a jump ball, and you start an overtime with a jump ball. And each team gets one timeout extra in overtime. Indiana now has one, and Kentucky has two. The possession arrow on that uh, slap out of bounds to Indiana. So the Hoosiers have the chance for the first shot, and it's Callaway, and he's fouled. I've never seen him play with this kind of confidence and play the game where he wants the ball. He is actually begging for the ball, Keith. He's saying, get me the rock because I can score. That's the fourth foul on Chapman. Galloway with 25 points, 11 rebounds in the game. Got it. We take a look at him. Look how he wants the ball. And he knows what he's going to do with it when he gets it. There's Chapman. Looks like he gets the ball over the top. But they get the foul on Rex. Missed the second. And Ellis sweeps the board. And the Wildcats come down. Indiana leading by one. to five-minute overtime. Now they put their defensive stopper. They put Isle on Davinger. Cedric Jenkins going in. And he's fouled. See, by Garrett. They simply cleared out the side, got Jenkins in a one-on-one, -on -one, and he's got some mobility to the First basket. Now, Indiana, number 22, Dean Garrett, his fourth personal. Garrett now with four personal fouls. Jenkins not a good free throw shooter. Doesn't have the great touch. As we look at the foul trouble you mentioned a moment ago, Jadlow with four, Smart four, and on the other side, Lockwood four, but also got that little injury to his ankle. He looked good there. See, you keep putting Cedric down, and he just keeps knocking him through. I like Cedric. He could play for me, but he is not a shooter. He's having a career shooting the ball right now. There he is right here. He made him look beautiful. I'll tell you, you're laughing because you're feeling like a million dollars. 73-72, Wildcats. Hoosiers go to work now. Inside the big man, Garrett. Stepman checking aisle. They get it to Garrett. He missed it. And a rebound of Madison. Madison with the big body. He's a member of my all-wide body team. He's big and wide, and he's a good, good jumper. Isle closes Chapman in the corner. He looks back to Oh, they had Chapman. At him for a moment. Yep. Now Davender being hounded by Hillman. Uh, giving Jenkins half the faster. Chapman, Isle on him. Almost got a foul on Steve. Chapman forces it. Won't go down. Look at Jenkins. Rebound at Jenkins and a foul. And it's Jadlow gone. There's your man Jenkins, always in the right place at the right time. Very, very active player today. Oh, they call that one on Callaway, and 
he's gone. If that's that's going to be five fouls on Ricky Callaway. You talk about hurting. That really hurts. Smart's going to come in. He'll get Smart in for Callaway. Smart's got four. This Chapman with a little pump fake. He forces that shot. The ball bounces to the deck. It's an aggressive play by Jenkins. Oh, Callaway definitely reached in and grabbed yep. him by the wrist. Good camera work right there to nail that. Callaway leaves 26 points. That ties his career high at IU. Keith Smart's on his way. Three minutes, 37 seconds remaining in the overtime. 73-72, Kentucky, and Jenkins will go to the line. You know, Jenkins shot 34% last year, Keith, but on a free throw line, I'll take that back. This guy was 15 for 18 on a free throw line last year, but shot 34% from the field. He looks automatic on that line. I knew there had to be something wrong Gives with that. Excuse me. 13 points. Yep, with that scouting report that said he was a suspect shooter on a line, he looks really too good. He made four in a row. Looked like Jerry West drilling those on a foul line. Jerry's sitting at court side. I hope you didn't buy that scouting report. Oh, he didn't wow. Pay for it, did he? No, I didn't pay a dime for that report. <laughs> they got to go to Garrett with Ellis, Ellis on him. They got to look inside to Garrett. The high lob to Garrett. Gets playing him tough. He is. He's trying to deny him the ball. Gadlow's got it and draws the foul. He could have almost been called for the principle of verticality where the defensive player is entitled to that plane once he establishes defensive Personal position. Foul, Number 24, Leron Ellis. There's the Hillman. Personal. He dumps it into Jadlow. Jadlow bobbles it. He says, where? Where is it? Now here it is. He comes back. See, if you come back into the defensive player, that's a foul on the offensive player. First time at the line. Well, Todd, he's out of Kansas with the Barton Community College. 75-73, Kentucky over Indiana by two. That stays that way. Garrett rebounded. Well, mistake by Ellis. One of the first things you learn is you block out on the line on the free throw. He doesn't block out. Garrett gets the long rebound. Indiana could tie it right here. I think Isles got to start looking to score here. He goes inside to Garrett. Ellis boxes him off, but Garrett saves the ball, and the Hoosiers keep it. Isles not even looking at the basket. No, he isn't. He's not even looking at the basket. Go to Smart down the middle. Shot blocked by Jenkins. Jenkins. Oh, Jeff Lowe. Oh, what a play by corner and a lead for Indiana. What a play by Todd Jadlow with the left hand. Strong body, he hangs in the lane, protects the ball. Watch this play by number 11. There goes Smart now, down the gut. Here's the block, the ball comes off to Jadlow. Now watch 11. Oh, he gets banged and he keeps it in the left hand for the conversion. The Hoosiers go to the lead, 76-75 with 2.35 to go in overtime. Now's a problem for both sides now. Davender. He did not even play Jenkins out there. The way he shot before, I'd go shoot a free throw. So <laughs> I'd go shoot the free throw. He made four in a row. He did not even guard in Jenkins 55. Look, they're not even guarding him. Ellis goes for it. Partially blocked by Garrett. Rebound, Jadlow. They missed Jenkins. He was so wide open. It was unbelievable. Hillman runs over. He had the shot. He should have shot that ball immediately. Yep. No, no, no. He should have shot the ball immediately. Number 44, Joe Hillman, a real competitor. Well, he puts the shoulder on the sternum and decked him, and that got him a foul. And here comes Kentucky now, trailing by a point at 157 to play at overtime. Both these Luck clubs is back in the ball game. Both these clubs, Keith, are living with the Wade Boggs philosophy, except right here is the home run. Three pointer. That's an Andre Dawson. No Wade Boggs there, baby. A home run by Mr. Chapman. Two point lead, Kentucky. Garrett to the basket. No! Isle! Yes! He's got a nice 
touch. No. Doesn't count. They wave it off. They got a foul inside on Locke for number five. That's five on Locke. Basket by Isle. First real time he's looked to shoot the ball today. He takes it, but it won't count. The personal foul is Kentucky, number 44. First time I laid eyes on Bobby Knight as a coach up at West Point at the age of 24. What a motivator. He took a bunch of kids named Schutzky and Oxley and Suleiman. And here it is right here. Look at Locke now. He bumps him. He bumps him. And then he reaches on the rebound. Now watch on the rebound. There's the contact right over the top. I'll tell you, with all the contact inside, they come up with that one. I don't know, Keith. Little ticky tack, little ticky mouse tack there. These guys have done a heck of a job. Well, I think Lockerty, Rucker, and Back have done a solid, solid job. Leron Ellis comes in to replace Locke. Winston Bennett fouled out some time ago for Kentucky. Callaway is fouled out for Indiana. And a whole lot of folks are really, waiting to get their ticket punched. Really surprised we didn't see Eric Manuel Moore. Great athlete and a tremendous player. Came up short Our on the foul line. The free throw. What a block right there. Whoa. And at 1.25 to go in the overtime, Kentucky with the ball and a two-point lead. They're giving Jenkins all the room in the world, but he's only been bold oh. enough to take one outside all day. They're laying that vertical screen. It's a down screen trying to get Chapman free. But Indiana's simply going to switch on it, I believe. A lot of patience right here using Time the shot out. clock. He's a master, Eddie Sutton, Bobby Knight. You're looking at two of the Rolls Royce coaches in America, along with John Thompson and Dean Smith. You're talking about the real artist in a game of coaching. Exactly one minute to play in overtime. Kentucky's 78, Indiana's 76. It's a Radio Shack Merry Christmas. I'm giving everyone a mini phone from Radio Shack. That way they'll call often. It's trim, compact, and has an automatic redial. And the 16-foot cord means they can use it anywhere around the house. The best of all, it's on sale for only $12.95. I even bought myself one. Hello? 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 The mini phone, on sale for $12.95, only at Radio Shack. We're not a company, but we recognize potential. We develop it. We use it. We'll make sure that as your responsibility grows, so will you. As your ability for leadership grows, so will you. Working with us, you'll gain self-confidence. Become a person with a future. We're not a company. We're your country. We're the Marines, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force. We're the armed forces. It's a great place to start. To be an economy car was efficient and affordable, but something you eventually outgrow. That was then. This is now. The new, bigger, four-door Civic from Honda. Arnold Palmer, Jan Stevenson, and more. Golf's best come together in a mixed team competition. It's the J.C. Penney Classic tomorrow on ABC Sports. One minute to play in overtime. Indiana and Kentucky, the Wildcats lead the Hoosiers 78-76. The biggest lead, six points by Indiana. Kentucky's biggest lead, five points. The game has been tied 17 times. There have been 17, 18, 19 lead changes, I believe. And right now, Kentucky leading by two, has the ball, Rex Chapman handling it. Being played by Isle again. Isle really playing him tough on a perimeter. Feels the Field. ball. He's a defensive specialist. Hey, Keith, he's 10 for 14 for the year, averaging seven shots a game. He's only taken one Isle, and he's made it. He's got to look to shoot a little more. Smart forces his way inside, loses the ball. Madison breaks oh, away. Oh, oh, oh. They're dancing in Lexington. It's party time. Lexington, Kentucky. Gatlow comes back in a hurry. Smart for three. No. Rebound, Madison. Foul, Garrett. He's gone. We took a look at the real James Madison.
Madison, that's Richard Madison, not the president, James Madison. He was a writer. <laughs> they, they take a look at Richard Madison. He's got a world of potential. Eddie Sutton waiting for it to blossom. He's a senior. Here he is right now. He smells this baby up and up the way with a thunderous dunk. Yeah, but listen to this now. That's 44 and a half minutes of basketball. That's the first two points that Eddie Sutton's team has scored coming off the bench. And that's amazing because he really has some great players that he can bring off the bench. There it is. A little dipsy doo dunkaroo. Good night. James Madison. See, I know my history. I, <laughs> one subject I was able to pass. Look at Bobby. Very silent right here. 20 seconds to play in the game. Three-point opportunity. Madison can't convert it. That could be a big point. Not over yet. Four-point lead. Hillman back to Edwards. He's the young man who tied it in regulation. Rebound, Chapman. Foul, Hillman. This dance belongs to Kentucky now. They go back to bluegrass country. Got a week to relax. And then they play Louisville. Rex Chapman's jersey is stretched from uh, here to Speedway, and uh, it's it's a one and one. Take a look at Eddie Sutton. Bobby Knight comes back Tuesday night against Vanderbilt of the Southeastern Conference, coached by a classy guy, C.M. Newton, who has a tremendous center, a real all Avis, a guy that doesn't get a lot of publicity. He's like number two, but he can play in Will Purdue from Vanderbilt. Six I hope, I hope Will makes a lot of money for the sake of his public. <laughs> what does he wear? 21 6A shoe. Yeah, he's got big feet, <laughs> like Bob Lanier. Chapman. Makes it a five-point Kentucky lead with nine seconds to play. Sutton gets a little T.O. He wants the camera on him a little bit more. All right, Eddie, we'll give you a little camera time. We'll be right back. It's a Radio Shack Merry Christmas. Wait, Mom, everybody wants to say goodbye. My family loves this cordless phone from Radio Shack. I got it on sale for just $69.95. Saved $30. It's really convenient. With no cord in the way, and you can dial out or answer from anywhere in the house. Even redial a last number call with one touch. Okay, Merry Christmas, Mom. Oh, and uh, thanks for the tie. The ET-395 cordless phone. Sale price for Christmas only at Radio Shack. We're not a company, but outstanding people come to us every day. People who want to make a contribution to a team and do work that really counts. People eager to see new places, do the unusual, and find the unusual. People who become your friends for life. People just like you. We're not a company. We're your country. We're the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Army. We're the Armed Forces. It's a great place to start. to be an economy car was efficient and affordable, but somewhat boxy. That was then. This is now the new aerodynamic four-door Civic from Honda. Nine seconds to play. Rex Chapman goes to the foul line. Kentucky leading 81-76. He could just about slam the door for sure there. He just did, I think. Now Indiana hustles. Down the court comes Keith Smart. Goes as far as he can. His own man knocked him down. Jadlow ran into him, knocked him flat. Shot back of court. Doesn't mean a thing. Kentucky has defeated Indiana 82-76. to Secretariat's doing a little dance right now down at Claiborne Farms. They're dancing down at Lexus in Kentucky with the big W over a real classy, powerful Indiana team as we look at the victorious Eddie Sutton. Tremendous ball game. The scores today were Notre Dame 69, Louisville 54, Kentucky 82, Indiana 76. Brought to you by Bud Light, proud sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team. And by Honda, who invites you to experience the Accord LXI four-door sedan at your local Honda.